show the answer then the word will be search it as you can see right so this website gives uh, various puzzle makers which is uh, very fast and also otherwise just imagine if you want to generate one puzzle maker here on your own it becomes very difficult for all of us so that can be done Okay, from yesterday's discussion, what we can make out of this? Sir, if you can come forward. Okay, okay. Because the font size is not that big, and you can be able to see. Can you able to see this? Yes. Okay. Now the pretty label. Why we require pretty label? So that two dissimilar things we can compare on the same platform. Our entire education system can be compared in the same platform. Now, just imagine why the students take admission because they want to become something, they want to do something. That is BT level six. Normally, if you just see it, then it is BT level six. And what BT level the students achieve at the program, they are downside. Normally. So we need to tell the students that you can be do, uh, doing like this. There are many lectures, practicals, tutorials, seminars, placement questions, virtual labs, projects. All can be compared with the same with a pretty level platform, right? So you can see now the teachers are doing so many activities. Correct. Countless activities we do it. So based upon this, we can understand that what pretty level we can prepare some of the students. Okay. Now let's study this. Yesterday I have given you a format, COPO, right? PI. There you please add marks column into it. I have forgotten this. You can see the marks column to be added in that question. Okay. Because any number of marks can be okay. How the attendance can be calculated that I am going to demonstrate. Let's take this example here. Can you ever be? This is a question, right? Yesterday I was telling, cantilever beam a question, then sports, rigidity, all this, right? Now we want to convert the student this question into a engaging question. How we can do that? Let's see this now. Right? Is it the same question? Just see the deflection. The deflection, right? At the end, can you give a deflection? Now I return to this question once again. Right? You are working in a sports management company, producing driving boards as per specification required by Olympic Games with a flat cross section for a length of 1.2 meters and textural specificity of 212, 210 newton meter square, subject to applied load moment. At the free, calculate vertical deflection at the free. These are the constraints. So I have given, I have just modified this gate examination question. Nothing else. Gate examination question is there. I just modified. And then we show a beam. And then we have that UDL. Then we show arrow. But the student doesn't understand this. What is that real life situation? The real life situation is like this. This is the real life situation. You can see. That deflection of the board in which the diver is there. No? You can see this is a deflection. So here, this is the deflection of that board. You can see now, this deflection. <coughs> it should be permissible that much. So this is how we can explain to the students, right? Now, yesterday I was talking about this question. Airport Authority of India, recruitment question. At what angle Boeing A-47 should take off so that the tail of airplane doesn't hit the ground? Right. So this is what the question I have shown to you yesterday. Now let me tell you 
I will show you a live here. You can just see this is a WhatsApp group of ours, advanced learners of Divya Kisi Hoi. And when the light was not here, that time I have just thrown them this question. And they instantly solve it. This question, the students are instantly solve it, you can see now. So I am not taking their credit. So Vaishnavi is Vakul. So she is there and she has solved this all equation that I have posted here immediately. So the students are advanced. We need not to worry about it. And in fact they want such challenges. The challenges, surprises, they want actually. So this is how we can develop here. A case study based question. You are an ATC engineer. At what angle going the Air Force 7 should take off so that tail of the aeroplane doesn't hit the ground? You are ATC engineer, solve above problem to give necessary command to pilot by ATC. Then the students will understand the real life application. Mathematics simple tan theta is there, that's all. You can just see tan theta. The student has solved tan theta. This is aeroplane, this is the angle, tan theta is solved. Okay. So like this. We can give some challenges and this is what exactly the AICT examination report document they have mentioned. Okay, you can see now. The description marks BLPT level, CO, PO and PI code. This is exactly they have mentioned. Okay, they exactly they have mentioned and also they are asking us to make the question like 1B. You can just see 1B. Ram is working on a project which requires returning multiple values from a function. He observed that a return statement can only be used to return a single value from a function. Right? So, we can modify like this. Ram is, or best way is you are placed. This is what my study is. The moment we say you are placed in Accenture, the manager has told you to do this. So, this becomes a very real life scenario. Students get immediately connected to and you can see now, the marks are 12, BT level, CO, PO and PI codes. Okay? Now let us do something interesting today. Okay. So I will just share with you. I am sorry, I am meanwhile I am just converting all to PPTs and everything here. Okay. So I will just share with you this case study that we have developed for civil engineering. In civil engineering, in civil engineering you have a subject that is concrete technology. Now I have taken this few syllabus, right? Second year concrete technology is the subject. Now we put up in nuclear.com, concrete technology. Right? And just see what has been found out here. The what is found out here is zero years experience and what they can do it here. Now as you can see here, 
So we put up this subject, concrete technology. You can see concrete technology, CTO Ahmedabad. This is the website, and that is being given here. And by the way, the package is 7.5. So in civil engineering, 7.5 students said to me that is the highest package. So that is we can go ahead. Right. As you can see now here, the roles and responsibilities are given. For every job, the roles and responsibilities are given. Can we find out POs out of that? Very interesting. Okay, what is written here? That in-depth knowledge about the concrete administer in the project. So concrete administer in the project that is design development of solutions are written PO3. Then they have written that we should be able to understand the costing of it. Okay, project. So PO11, PO9. So like this, there are many POs that we can find out from the job responsibility. And also, which subject is very important, that also we can find out, right? Now, somebody will ask you a question, why your friend is question like this? Then the moment we say that it is placement oriented, it is outcome oriented, it is most happily accepted by your right? So this is how we can do it. Now, this is CO number one, you can see. This is CO number one, unit number one. Introduction to complete as a construction material. So this is the syllabus here. Aggregate and water and cement. So this is CO number three. Now I have read twelve questions. Right? In one of the workshop I just shown to others that how we can print twelve questions for complete. That is what I am explaining right from you. Okay? We'll do this for civil engineering, one subject. We'll do this for EMPC, one subject. We'll do this for mechanical, one subject. We'll do this for IT, one subject. Okay, today within this one hour. Now. This is the concrete technology, advantage of precast concrete technology in metro project, Mumbai Metro. This is a blog that I found out from internet. Right? This is a blog in concrete technology, how we can create like this, Based on these blogs, we are started asking questions. So we give in the question itself that reference of that blog. That please read this. Just like yesterday somebody said paragraph can be given. Right? Nowadays we can give them link. In Google form also we can give them the link, they just click and immediately it opens. Even in PDF also it is embedded. So right now this is the PO number one question. Advantage of precast concrete technology in metro project, line six of Mumbai Metro. The method essentially involves sequentially extending precast segments outward from each bridge fire of a roughly balanced manner. In situ concrete, in situ concrete means what? Maybe you are aware. Yes. In situ concrete is then cast to stitch the segments together, thus making the bridge deck continuous. Right? The width of the in situ stitch is usually no more than. So it is given in that particular, you can see, it is given here. We have to read it very carefully. So I read it very carefully as a teacher and then formulated a question. Right? So this is an MCQ. You can see MCQ. One, one has to two meter, this is what the answer is. Right? We make a Google form, we do it. Let's go to PO number 2. Now see PO number 2. Okay. WP and WF are the weights of the cylinder containing partially compacted and fully compacted concrete. If the compaction factor is this much, then workability of concrete is. This is a prior analysis only. Right? So this is how we can make PO number 2. PO number 3, very interesting. Evaluate empirical dimensions with respect to concrete metro column and justify. This is the Adarsh Nagar that metro station column. Mumbai Metro has published this in the open domain. It's an open domain. We are not paid questions from something. So then we can ask the student the question, evaluate empirical dimensions with respect to concrete metro column and justify. P1 number 3. Typical cross-section of Adarsh Nagar metro station 3. It is given there already. So what we are asking to the student that how is the empirical relation. Now what the student will do what is happening as students in let's see. The student will understand that this subject has no application, hai, then here it is application. Right? The second thing is they will, we are motivating the student to mechanism towards placement. Right? Self-analysis. And the third thing is, student have told me, they say the moment this syllabus and the real life matches now, they are most happy. They are most happy. So that is also matching there. And the fourth
fourth one, if you give them such challenges with respect to placement, this, then the student are not ready to copy. This is the biggest found out that I have found out myself in 2022. That if you tell the students to make something related to placement, number of zeros in their salaries, then they are least interested to copy from their friends. I think this is what we can do it here. Of course, if your students, you can have different findings together. That's not a problem. Next one, you can see PO number 4. What is PO number 4? PO number 4 is very simple, dear friends, that one single answer will not be there. That's PO number 4. There may be multiple answers. Every student can think together differently, multiple answers, then PO 4 is achieved. Page number 8 of Indian Manual. It is given there. Prepare plans to or stitch complete to center portion of column with non change complete of the cloud. So we have just prepared the plan, that's all. What the student will do? Student will conduct investigations of complex problem. What is a complex problem? Complex problem is this. The same thing. That Adarsh Nagar Metro Station number 3 pillar. Yeah. We can similarly make it in even all the tenders nowadays of government agencies, they are open. Right? Even the column size is also open. Even a, a bridge anywhere, their sizes and their structures are also open. Am I right? So we can give them that. This is PO number 4. PO number 5. Now PO number 5 you can see prepare animation of steps shown direction of complete radars using straddle carrier. So this is a straddle carrier. What happens here is that this, this is a girder that is picked up by this crane and then this is moved here and stitched together. So animation can be prepared. That Revit yesterday I said Revit, Revit, with the help of Revit we can prepare this animation. And throw this challenge to the student, let the student take three months, no problem. Am I right? But then they will understand many things out of you. We can ask the student that you please speak with your computer engineering friends and find out some different simulation method, not necessarily only Revit. Something else can be found out. Like Python programming also can be done. Very nice. Thing. Now what is to be done with this? This is most important that the solution need to be pasted in LinkedIn immediately in social media where they will be visible to recruiters. Visibility to recruiters is the most important thing. Am I right? Now see, there are two advantages for us. One is, we know its answer, we can give five out of something. Am I right? Post in LinkedIn, then in LinkedIn many people will give likes, you know likes, comments. Based upon that, make an indirect agreement. Indirect agreement. Make it. Stakeholders participation. Recruit, recruiters are there. So like this we can make it very easily there. And we can complete this process meaningfully. PO number 6 now. What is PO number 6? I have written here. Second stage pre-stressing of the flyover piper cap as per details drawing shall be done after complete attains a strength of 35 megapascal. I am not civil engineer, but I have learned from their backlog, sorry, that blog. And from the blog I have written this statement. What will be the effect on safety of metro rail system if the concrete doesn't attain the strength of 35 megapass? Is it right? Safety aspect. Now what the student will think? What is the use of that megapascal? Strength of 35 megapascal, they will understand it's in true sense. Otherwise, 35 megapascal don't do. The moment I say that, what is the numerical pressure outside? Maybe 30 pascal, we don't know. What is my exactly that 30 pascal? 30 psi, we don't know. Right? What I mean exactly what is meant by that? It has to be sensed, isn't it? So that sensitization will happen here with the students. Okay. Of course, you can modify this. I just may consider with my respect from that. All the POs question will be relevant to the teacher and the student together, pedagogies, right? As per the local needs, as per the global needs, wherever you want to do this. PO number 7, again the same thing. So this is a metro pillar design. Now see what we have made the question. Calculate carbon emission while developing each metro pillar. How many trees are required to be planted to counter carbon emission for each metro pillar? And believe me, this, uh, this PCMC, PCMC, that is Imprisoned for Minor Political Corporation, they wanted this, a DPR report. How many trees are required to be planted? Am I right or not? Then who will do this? 
So that's why we can make such very simple questions, but very thought provoking. P1 number 8 now. P1 number 8 is a standardization, right? Any standardization will do. Metro standardization, let's say Accenture in that, they are making some standardization. That can be okay. Any, any industry, or let us say now you have also put up a SOP. How to conduct examination? So you are having step number 1, step number 2, step number 3, step number 4. So GCOE standardization, that is also PO8 standardization, right? Standardization plays a very important part. So it is written Metro via Dutch, standard span, combined structure, metro station. Now what is our question? What is the effect of effective standard span are increased by 10 percentage? If the standard span is increased by 10 percentage, the moment we ask this question like this, that is, this is the answer, and we will increase by 10 percent. Immediately PT level increases to 5. From analyze it will increase to evaluate. Remember it? Immediately it will increase. Here. Here number 9. The available space allocated for metro work is 9 meter only. Whereas the combined structure of flyover plus wire act is 20 meter wide. This needs the necessary supporting temporary structures for casting in a case of institute. Providing the temporary structures for the same width in the middle of busy roads will take three lane roads into one lane. So we are conversion. conversion. And even need complete closure of the roads in critical situations. Prepare a schedule for fixing concrete metro pillars to minimize the closure plan. That's all. So schedule needs to be prepared. P1 number 9 is the most important P1. Because what our students will do after graduation, it will spread. Am I right? And the moment we don't map it now, what will happen? The student will lose the opportunity. Ultimately, the student will lose the opportunity. That is what the problem is. You can see, prepare a schedule for fixing concrete metro pillars. Now, which schedule, which schedules can be prepared? Any schedule can be prepared. That is PO number 9 and 10. How many, how many, uh, how many people are required? What is that you will do? That's a PO number 9. Okay. Next, PO number 10. Now, PO number 10 is very simple. I already shown you. This is the graph. The U.S. glass fiber reinforced concrete market size by process, you can see. So in India, metro is also growing. So we can show them some graph. Meaningful graph of your own subject. Am I right? Now believe in me, you put graph of concrete technology in Google. Google will give very nice graphs. From because, now from where the Google is getting these graphs? We are publishing so many papers. Right. Imagine a paper without graph. Will it accept it? From that we are putting in a Google. Right. So once the copyright is over, then they put up it. Right. So we can make. Next five years, how much will be tons of concrete that we can answer? So definitely they will examine this graph and prepare in Indian context. So we have given this. Now see how we have done. We have embodied a case study also, we are making the students to read that also, right? That is helping them to find out answer as well. And can we see the interest factor into this? Obviously. Okay. So that's why it is very important here. P1 number 11. Same metro problem here now. Examining the figure, draw process flowchart and detailed cost calculations for building up this structure. Draw process flowchart and detail cost calculations. Sir. I just find technology Yes. 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 Because the students, if you use, this is my opinion, they 
and how to do it. In that sir, now it is very simple. I will suggest to all of you, 81 questions are being given. Out of that, you have to frame only 12. That's all. Maybe you are thinking that in the next, next two years, maybe the POs will itself will be increased to 30 seconds. Because of this PIs, which are taken place. Right? Okay. Now, which PI number it is? I hope all of you have. 11.3.1 is this PI number for this particular question. Okay? Now, I request all of you, please open your PI course. I will show you number of now questions for various, various subjects. Okay? What is the first point of NEP? First point of NEP is multidisciplinary subjects. Right? So maybe you are thinking that computer engineering, I don't require any civil engineering, don't do like this. Because in NEP we don't know what is going to happen. Interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, right? Entry and exit is only one part of NEP. But if you are not, now see, it is creating a lot of danger. If you are not able to hold your students, they will use NEP then. <laughs> Am I right? If you cannot create interest among the students, they will use NEP. But if you create interest among your existing students, Maybe outside students will use NEP to complete you. Am I right? Yes. And the students are, I must tell you, dear friends, that students are very interested to know where are the placement opportunities. They are ready to throw themselves like anything. Okay? Of course, we are having a challenge, as Sarah said, we are having a challenge of in semester examination. If in semester examination. That's why all these questions, creative questions, you throw them in the out of your timetable. Don't include this in your timetable. In your timetable, please teach whatever you are doing. Okay? And this point I am going to highlight before I go here. Otherwise, all of you will say that I have done something which is beyond syllabus, my result has gone. No. Whatever you are doing is important, no doubt about that. Yellow tea is important. Ultimately, what is mean by hand? Complete, we should know. Then only we can go proceed further. But, but, there is but now. Stopping at yellow D is hazardous. Right? So this is what I wanted to show. So right now all of you please see which is the which is the PI code. Immediately. I will show you many number of questions now from variety of subjects. Okay? And then you will show me this PI code here. Next one. PO number 12. Now see PO number 12. You will be appointed as an R&D engineer. Right? Now as Sarah has said, maybe second year students they will, their answer may, may not be that mature, sir. Am I right? Third year students' answer may be matured more. Right? And final year students also matured, matured more. Now see, in second year, sir, you are the best, is it? You are the best, yes. Now, how much to marks to be given? Which is second year, sir, many of you have questions answer answered. Right? As compared to relative grading, we can give them the answer. But intuition through the sir. Intuition through the creative thinking through the critical thinking through the critical thinking, right? Even if the students are not able to answer this, but they will tell you what I understood from this, then also we have done without people's. Am I right? So that you can take it. You will be appointed as an R&D engineer if you suggest suitable design implementation solution that will reduce cost and time. Complete the task. Okay. I think you, all of you must be knowing SIH. SIH, all of you know, Smart India Hackathon. That is, that is conducted in this year in India in a, at a very large level. Many winners are from second year. Many winners. I was very surprised. Many winners, many industrialists are from first year, second year. Right. In first year, we require PSOs. Am I right or not? We require PSOs? First year? In first year, PSO is required? Yes or no? Pattern number 8. In pattern number 8, 8.3, the PSO opens not there for us. CO PSO for first year engineering courses. Yes. Am I right? right? Now see, physics. Now, this is a very wonderful concept. I am coming to that now. Physics, teaching physics to mechanical engineering and teaching physics to computer engineering. Is there any stupid some difference? 
Or no? Yes, there should be some difference. Huh? Physics with computer engineering and physics with mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering deals with the friction, temperature, mode. They are very susceptible for that. Am I right? What is the use of physics in computer engineering? Think on this. Think on this. Because semiconductors and all the devices are very susceptible for even a small change of dimension. And from with that respect, we should teach to our students. That is COPSO. Right or not? Yes. But what we are doing first year? We are treating everybody safe. Mathematics. Teaching mechanical engineering students, you should focus more on matrix. Am I right? If you are teaching more, if you are teaching to electronics department students, then you should focus more on Laplace transformation. Am I right? Because Laplace transformation will generate a Poisson's distribution. And Poisson's distribution is required in ENTC and computer or other things. Because there is a sudden jump, sudden failure, sudden. Everything happens sudden there. Where in mechanical it is gradual. Right? Normal distribution curve. So like this we must understand. And here first nowadays is very simple. Type use of mathematics to mechanical engineering students. You will find so many research papers, so many blogs, so many interesting problems. It's very easy. Okay. So that's why, in fact, if you want to make NBA very religious enough, then we can get a lot of benefit out of it. Okay, very judicious they are missing. So this is what they complete the task is. Right? And thus you can see this is how we can do for many number of these POs. Right? I'm sharing just two case studies. Maybe you can implement and we can take it further. Okay. Now let us go to this most difficult subject in mechanical engineering. AC mechanical engineering applied thermodynamics is the course. Okay. Now I have shown them for CO, uh, then this PO 1 to 12. First of all, before making any POs, please post up in Nokia.com and find out what is the use of that syllabus in 2022 context. Because in 2022, the job markets are changing. So shall I share this video please? Applied. One or more than one options are correct. 
So you can give this one, one or more than one option are correct, you can give them and ask the student to find out this. Right? And the student, if they find out, we should be happy. The teacher should be happy if the student finds out this. Right? Of course, but we should check only one thing that whether this question is out of Google. Otherwise, students will just Google it and then they will test it. Right? So, the biggest area of teacher nowadays is? <laughs> right. The Google, because I am sorry dear friends, but we are not required to pass in examination. 2022. We are not required. If the teacher even doesn't teach you even the questions, na, then also the students are able to pass. Because we have dropped down our examination to such a level now that they don't require. So that's the reason why we require now. You can see CO5, PO11. Right? One of the simple applications of the concept of enthalpy is a so-called trotting process, also known as joule thompson expansion. What will be the cost incurred to make one joule per kg change in enthalpy process? Right? So if you want to increase the temperature, some cost will increase or not? So that we are asking now PO11 question. Is it not technical? Is it not technical? No, it is not not technical. It is technical. Am I right? Many faculty members, what they do, they do non-technical things and map it and then they say, oh, oh. okay, very nice. Maybe we, we can do something better than this. Right? Now see, I am giving you some example here, PO number 11, okay? and what is this below side that I will uh, explain you afterwards. PO number 6 now. Now see, that Prezi.com is a, is a website, enthalpy, reaction and other things, there is a blog written by one industry person. If you click on that link, then that blog opens of that industry person. He has written something. From out of that, we have made some of these reverses here. The safety guide to enthalpy reaction lab. Prezi describes steps for establishing safety norms in measuring enthalpy reaction labs. Okay. Now just imagine, there are many laboratories are required nowadays. Testing of materials, am I right? Testing labs are required. Now for this, if you have to rush to Nagpur, then probably here is a job opportunity for all our students. We can ask the students that there is something which is called as MIDC, right? And then the students can make their own, make their own factory here, industry here, right? Out of 240 students, maybe 239 students will listen and leave. But one student will set up the, his business here, we are done with our job. Am I right? Because entrepreneurs are most valued in outcome. How many of you don't agree with this? Entrepreneurs are very well agreed, very important. How to make DPR, how to make entrepreneurship, actually we can convert into that. So it is a given classification here, GCS classification. How the measurement of SC1, SC1, B, etc. all this can be carried out and decide mini and max of seriousness of effect. Okay. Even many of you are now can put up a self project into this, that we want to set up a lab along with these students, please give us funding, they will give you very happy. Right? So this is how we can just carry out the intuition here. Next, PO number 5. Now you can see PO number 5. So there is a measuring the enthalpy change is given. How to measure the enthalpy change? There is a formula, simple formula. We have made just a block here and then we ask the student, prepare a Python program to complete this setup. Just required three, four days, not more than that. But if the student prepare Python programming, what is he used? <coughs> file a copyright along with the student, yourself. Just guide them, file a copyright. If it goes beyond that, we can publish papers. Am I right? If the student come out with some very new concept, obviously it cannot be patented, but some other concept can be patented also. So very nice IPR we can generate out of this, right? Moreover, such case studies you can write in a book, your own book, your own book chapter. Right? We can do that. And if the student also publish papers, student also create IPRs, then they are very uh, easy to get visa. This is what my student have told. Those who are going for Dubai and other things, 
they are they can get it very easily. Those who are going for Germany, they also can get it very easily. Pivo number seven, most simplest pivo I will always say. Run a machine of anything and ask for how much carbon emission done. Four. You can see TVS Jupiter is used for one hour. Calculate enthalpy change resulted during this time. What maximum change in enthalpy can sustain? Sustainability. Right? Environment and sustainability. You can do this now. Next one. Even now. Senior mechanical engineer in physics knowledge requires to be proficient in design of thermal management system based on the physics and principles of heat transfer, thermodynamic air flow management. Design a mini project and steps required which help to convince that you are the best suited for this job to offer. Right. In Nobody.com what we do? We are having so many profiles here. Ask the student to prepare why you are suitable for this job. Am I right? Next one. PO10. PO10 is very simple. Put some graphs. Ask the student to read their graph. Draw some conclusion out of it. You can see now. Is this diagram best suitable for following? Glucose plus oxygen goes to carbon dioxide and water. Delta H is kg per mole and activation energy is this much. Right? And then we can ask the student to find out this. Of course, for this we need to study a lot. Pure number 12, Hess law of constant heat summation is given here. Evaluate the change in enthalpy as per Hess's law of electric car or specification of your choice. So what we are doing? That Hess law can be applied to electrical cars that we are intimating to students. And this is how we can do here. You can see. Okay. So like this we can prepare here. These are the mass of 10. We list in an Excel sheet. Right? 
Now what is the maximum marks? 10. 40 percent marks are? 4. Now we have to calculate how many number of students are there out of this 10 who have got more than 4 marks. More than or equal to 4 marks. How many students are there? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4. So there are total how many students are there? 8 students are there. Out of 10, 8 students have got more than 40 percent marks. Means what is their percentage of students scoring more than 40 percent marks is 80 percent. Right? Now we are having the level 2 here. You can see 70 percentage of the students scoring more than 40 percent marks. So for 80 percent how much? A simple proportionate 70 percent, 40 percent and 80 percent how much? You can see 70 percent of the student is level 2. 80% of the student is 2 into 80 divided by 70 is 2.28. So attainment is 2.2. Right? So what is the meaning of 2.28? What is the meaning of 2.28? 2.28 means that 80% students will score more than 40% marks. Okay? So this is all we can say. Now suppose what is the meaning of 2.65 attainment level? Now in category number 3, 3.1.1 is for making the CO statement, right? 3.1.2 is making the targets. How much is our target? Now how to set a target? How much is your target for result analysis? How many percentage of students you want to pass in the result? N seven exam result, how much? 100%. So ideally the target all should be all should be 3 only. 100% students you want. 100%. Am I right? But let's say I have fixed up 2.65 as my target. Means what? See for 3 attainment level 100% students will be successful. So for 2.65 attainment level how many percentage will be success successful? 88.33 students are 88.33 students are successful. Right? You can see. How to set attainment targets? Setting target of 2.65 attainment target level means setting target of making 88.33 percent successful students. Am I right? Okay. Now there is an exercise for all of you. What is that exercise? 2 plus your birthday is your target. 2. Something as your birthday is your target. Now tell me how much is attainment? How many percentage students will get? Two point something your birthday. Your birthday. Right or not? I am Amalavas method. They never give the fixed value. They will give the variables. <laughs> so that nobody can copy it. <laughs> 2 point something and what is something is your birthday, <laughs> right? You can say month of year of your birthday or maybe the year or something like this. 2 point, okay let's take an example. Yes one, so, something, 2 point, 2 point 2 four. okay what is the meaning of 2 point 2 four? 74 point 6 eight, correct? Means what? You want your 74 point 6 eight percent students to be successful in that PO, in that PSO, right? How you decide this now? This is very interesting. How you decide? Very scientific way, right? Nobody has now till now published paper on this. So I am giving you. See, I have, this is now six, six something I have given which till now nobody published. Okay? Same question. How you decide? And every time you fail into that. Right? And the irony is this is most simplest question. Most simplest. Nothing else is there. How you decide now? So what we should do? Let me tell you honestly. What we should do? This is what we thought of. Maybe we can... You are more learned. So you can add into this or do something. Okay? But my perception I am telling you. In your class, how many students are there? Let's say 100 students are there. We take a survey. What are their aspirations? and map with those POs. Right? Let's say PO number 1. 
All hundred students required. So your target is three. Am I right? In your in your class of hundred, if say eighty students are want to go and learn because they want they need to know about standardization. Two eight. Then your target date is your target date is two point four. <coughs> like this, we can set up that target. Okay, which will match aspirations with the students out there. And this will be a make real sense. Let me tell you this to make a real sense. Otherwise, every time the MBA committee is asking as much as they said, same question: How you set up target? What you have done? And then we we suddenly collapse there. So here we can do a very simple. Analysis here, right? Now I will do one more analysis to all of you. Okay, shall we do this exercise sir? with your permission? Okay, right now five students are there. Five students have scored. Five students have scored marks as per following. Are you students have scored marks as per following? Okay, two point one three, four point one, three point one two. Okay, two point seventy nine, two point seventy nine, and one point three, two point seventy nine. And 1.3. Calculate attainment. Calculate attainment. Now this table you can decide your own. If suppose 60% is there, 40%. But what we have decided that we will make a PT level three question only. What we will do? We will make PT level three question at least. So that's why this can be justified here. Okay? Yes, calculate now how much is attainment. Sixty percent of students scoring more than forty percent marks. After the lunch break, now what I will do? I will demonstrate a software that our students have done on this. There is a Python programming software we have done it. We will download from our website. If you have brought the laptop, then it is very good. Okay, and immediately we can update here. Many of the times we prepare Excel sheet. Am I right? And that Excel sheet, the moment we show Excel sheet, NBA evaluators understand. That somebody has done this is Excel sheet. You have to do copy paste it afterwards. Am I right? And it is error not also. Out of five. Yes, sir. Maximum marks is five. Five question, five marks. I am just saying. Many times we are finding same method. That's what I am saying. Same. Is that a two point two eight? Okay, okay. Yes, sir, absolutely. <laughs> But how much is it? Attainment.
where everybody is scoring 100 percent marks. Do you think that the students have learned? They are not. Right? But some of the stu some students have failed, some students exceeded like anything. Then probably we can say that yes, they are learned. We will do this exercise after the lunch break. Okay, discrimination index exercise at the after the lunch break we will do. I will show you the software also that we can prepare here and we can go ahead. Sir. Yes, all students are scoring up. Yes. Ah, yes, very difficult. But looking, sir, I have to change the down. Online examination, everybody is criticizing. Of course, I also do criticize. No doubt about this. No, I am saying, I am just putting my self. I am not taking your reference. <laughs> right. I am just suggesting. But just imagine, if we could have not have done online examination, then what, we can, what it might have gone to the students' career. Those two years were very precious for them. Am I right? So therefore, we will take whatever is there, let us accept it. <laughs> what we can do. Correct. <laughs> but at the same time, during COVID period, gate examination was conducted? Good. Gate examination was online? Has everybody passed? No. That's the reason why government was thinking of giving some engineering after the four years degree course, the engineering exam will be there. Then they will give engineering something. Right? Because of this reason. Nothing else. Now see, gate examination making the students to learn. Am I right? But university examination cannot, because university examination is not meant for recruitment, sir. Is not outcome based. University examination is not outcome based. I am also a VOS member. And we are telling everyone the same thing. That this is the minimum syllabus. You go ahead with you, yourself, no problem. To what extent everybody can go, that is up to them. Am I right? So that is how we can do it. Okay, now let us do some more case studies into it. I will take now electronic department case studies. There is one subject called as DCS. Am I right? What is that?
following is are true for power spectral density. So A, B, C, D is given. Right? Is it P1 number 1? Which PI? Yes, which PI? PI number. Please see in that ASD approval and book. Uh, sorry, in that examination report document. And check it which is PI. One point. One point three point one. Am I right? So please write one point three point one. We also modified that particular format, right? But it is here. Interest factor is gate examination question. So we can write in front of that in bracket gate examination question. Right like this. It is going to come. Next one. Let XT be a white Gaussian noise which, uh, which two sided PSD are. It is given here. If Y T is the output, then the output is. This is a this is from gate examination question. Right? So faculty members of ENTC department and myself together, we sit together and then there were lot of inertia, you know, lot of quarrel, everything, everything that I cannot explain you right now. But, but the end is that outcome, I am explaining this to you. Uh, because many faculty members are quarreling me all the time. Not only from my college, but by other colleges in campus also. Okay, why we require that 12 school, 12 mapping only? Why are forcing these issues and that? There are so many other things, right? And then we call some other experts also which will tell them that this is the very simplest method. But unfortunately, that simplest method doesn't make it outcome based. That's the problem. Right. Because it is not resulting into recruitment. It is not resulting into higher education. It is not resulting into entrepreneurship. Now, somebody said, hai, chalta hai. this chalta hai, chalta hai. Okay. The moment we say chalta hai, zeros from their salary got stopped off on immediately. Right. Because whatever is easy is not respected. That's a problem. Okay. So simplest way is doing this only. In case of equipment, what is in mechanical engineering we use an equipment. What is the name of the equipment? Fourier transform. Yes. So that equipment also using this in case of vibration. That we learned a lot of course. After this, right? Okay. Next now, PO number three. You can see PO number three. Let a random process be described as with power spectral density shown in the following figure, the power in writing bash is equal to. How much bash power is changing? That is PO number 3. Right? Design development of solutions. Right? Next, you can see now. PO number 4. From this figure for spectral density, following is not true. Now this not true question is a very nice question because what happens the student have to judge all four Right? Automatically equity level increases. Automatically. In IES examination question, it is like this. Two statements are given. Statement A, statement B. Then they ask question. Options are. Statement A is true and correct explanation of B. Statement A and statement B are not at all related. Okay? Even it is simple, but they are, see how they raise the Bloom's taxonomy level. The raising of the Bloom's taxonomy level is very nice for them. You can see now this is PO number 4. PO number 5. Fourier transform is used in cell phones in following ways. Am I right? Then one student immediately, you know, because they are sharing me afterwards. See, after a lot of jugglers, even I post them everything, we eat an our poison, and then the faculty members say, see, we have done this. Very nice. And one of the students, she got placed in Yale Yale company. And they say that this is what I have done for that year tell you know, this Fourier transfer got transferred, something they have written a blog, then created a bag, something. And then they have explained what nicely done there. And then afterwards the faculty members are now writing in their notebook. Because of such question, this impact observed. <laughs> right. So in SAR now it becomes very easy for all of us. Of course, but making this question is not that easy, let me tell you. All, always we need to conquer our own inertia. Then only it is possible, otherwise not. It's very difficult. But what you have to find out? Fourier transform in real life. Then you will get something, some clock, something like this. And then from that we can make a paper, we can make this paragraph and give it to the student. Now see the hint is given. 
Hint is given here. The link is given. The students will click the link, then they will read for 10 15 minutes, fine. Correct? But then they will, but the Fourier transform is used in cell phones. That faculty member told me that, sir, even I couldn't also imagine this, that this can be in this way, we can make this. Right? So this is a real life situation. Real life example. In 2.2.1, 2.2.1 they have registered the adherence to academic, academic calendar. Advanced learners, quick learners. The table is in how to carry out the teaching learning process, 25 months. Right? Similarly, we can do it here. Next one, PO number 6. Now see, from this figure, identify incorrect statements. Real systems are band limited and work on limited frequencies. So if this is lost, then probably that wave is lost, isn't it? The straight line means dead only, ECG. So this is a test picture. PSG of thermal noise and PSG of white noise is approximately same. PSG of thermal noise is autocorrelation, while PSG of white noise is derived from positive. Correct? So we can ask this, then the question and student lines. PO number 7. Now you can see PO number 7. In airport, this is a problem. This is what the students have found out. In many public areas such as airports or railway stations, broadcasting is done by public address system and the inter and the intelligibility of the messages broadcast gets reduced due to environmental noise sources. Obviously, you cannot understand this. Right? Usually, these systems therefore employ a pre-processing module to modify the original message such so that its intelligibility in the noisy environment is increased. Most of the pre-processing methods for intelligibility improvement require an estimate of the environmental noise PSD. So we can measure how much is the disturbance that is happening here. And which are the factors to be considered in estimation of power spectral density? So we have asked this question. Right? And now this question is copyrighted. You can copyright this question. We will make a SOP. That this is how we can frame the question. Then this is a question. Question given to the students. Students understood this. Right? And this is the impact. This can be copyrighted very easily. Nicely. Yeah. Next one. PO number 8. The figure describes frequency constraints for two adjacent channels described by 8.8 A IEEE standard. Dear friends, there is a company of PSD. Some, some companies there. I forgot its name. Eurasian something is there. In their website, in their advertisement, they have written that the student must aware of this IEEE standard. Which IEEE standard? 802.1.5 a IEEE standard. So they said that the student must be aware of this. Okay? Which PI? 8.2.1. 8 8 8 this is the PI. Right? So we can make it very easily this PI. Am I right? Will the NBA committee will appreciate for making this question itself first of all? Right? And teacher's job is to make questions? Am I right? Teacher's predominant job is to make questions. Then only it is possible, otherwise not. Next one, PO number 9. Now see PO number 9. With respect to PSD, compare between sinusoidal signal and broad band signal. Right? And this is what exactly the students who are in, being placed in the industry they are doing. Okay? Right. Next one. Even number 10. From figure, following is our true. So, so we have to examine this figure and find out which is the conclusion here. You can see. This represents electrocardiogram. If the heart rate was approximately this much, the higher harmonics and the PSD is computed as. Of course, I am not from your background, so I am not explaining too much to you. But I think it can be a very well placed here. Right? PO number 10. PO number 11. Now that faculty member told me that students are giving most response to this question. Because here, we have written something that you are appointed as BSNL engineer. Right? So the moment the student sees the placement, then they can give it more here. And you are required to compute power spectral density for determining power radiation from mobile tower. <coughs> now tell me, if the students are placed in BSNL, are they not doing this? 
Are they doing this? Yes. So what you are doing? You are making students ready for industry. This is what exactly we want. This is what NASCOM wants from all of us. How we are making the employable students. Right? You can see now. Following are the steps to be carried out. One, two, three. Correct sequence of operation is one, two, three, three, one, three, two, like this. So we have what we have done? We have raised this BT level to five. Instead of four, we have raised to BT level five so that the students can judge all the constraints here. PO number 12, you can see that. So this is another approach. What we have done is we have given research paper. And from this research paper, this research paper represents new spectral analysis method for the identification of periodic signals. Find incorrect statement with respect to technological changes represented in okay. Page number 9 of MBA manual, they have written that IEEE paper, ASCP, you know, all these are very important for us. So, so we can use the paper from IEEE transactions and we can do this here. You can see now. So this is a paper, you click on this paper, then read this paper and answer this question. So what is the impact? Then the students understand that this is a research paper. Somebody is doing the research on this. Am I right? And it is continuous lifelong. Research papers are continuous lifelong. Now let us go to one very important that is called as PSOs. PSO, right? Now see, in PSO, there is some alumni. In our college, what we have done is, PSO we have framed with respect to alumni profiles, which is not there in PU. Right? You can do center of excellence, there are so many papers. In Texas Instrument, as a design engineer systems, you will have the chance to develop and debug algorithms and signal processing modules for wireless and wireline infrastructure applications. Following is a module to calculate power spectral density. Can you debug the program and plot the power spectral density? And this is what exactly the aluminium who is working in Texas Instrument is doing. Am I right? So what we can do is that we can ask the students aspirations in which company they want from that phrase, from that frame of question and give to the student. Most of our problems will get eliminated. Eliminated, I will say eliminated. Okay? You can see now here. The CO1 PS, PSO2. Okay? Data Q instruments is interested in doing research work on similarity between FFT analyzer function versus interpretation done by year sound. So PSO's questions are framed in such a way that how our students, if they are placed in that industry, what they will do that we have to think of and then we will make that question. Correct? And obviously, let me tell you uh, what sir, I think sir is not here right now. We will accept at the level of second year, at the level of third year, at the level of final year. That's not a class. Right? Even if the student can decode this question, then also they have understood very lot. Am I right? For that also we can give some marks, no problem. In Russia, you cannot give zero marks to the students even if the students are upset. This is not there. If the student gives bus ticket, then the examiners are giving five marks, six marks. That I couldn't attempt in a bus there. Right? Because in Russia they say that giving zero marks to students is a criminal. Of course they have their own norms, I am not advocating them here. But I am just informing you that is how the new terminologies they are attending to. And human here automatically. So write in your evaluation 50 words to help you getting selected based on this answer. Right? So what student must be doing? In second year, maybe he will not be able to polish. So is correct. Right? But in third year, he will get polish. It will be in his mind. Intuition gets developed. Ignition, ignition will help. And let me tell you honestly, it took almost two months to make this question. It's not that easy. We have studied a lot, then we were having, I already told you, we are having a lot of resistance, then travel, travel, so many other things <coughs> we have been done, then we call that alumni, we send them, so many things. But now this question looks like as an employable question. Am I right or not? Next one, ESO3. HT is a stationary random process with autocorrelation function. This process passed through the system shown below. 
the power spectral density of the output process is given. So this is framed by the aluminum only. This question particularly. And last question number four. Yes or number four. You are working as maintenance engineer for calibrating spectral analyzer to measure the noise level present in the system. Customer asks to give presentation on how the noise level can be measured. Draw a flow chart for it. Okay. In fact, noise level is creating lot of uh, lot of job opportunities. There are many many problems with the noise levels, right? And you know, you know that uh, atomic noise level and other things that is happening here. Okay. Right. So this is how we can <coughs> do and we can develop here. Now, I will show you something else here, friends. This is a website named as IndiaMart.com. Okay, this is a website named as IndiaMart.com. It is just like Amazon for engineers. Okay, you can get almost all products. <coughs> there is an association. There is an association known, named as IMTME, Indian Machine Tool Manufacturers Association. Okay, all industries in India are under that umbrella, IMTM. And that IMTM support is there for this IndiaMart.com. And almost all industries are here. Okay. Now let's say for example, I posted PID control. Normally PID control you are teaching to our students. <coughs> Do they know its specifications? Do they know its cost? Yes, sir. You teach them. Yes, sir. If you teach them, that is very nice. Yes. Instrumentation, you are. Yes. Yes. Now you can see. We have searched this servo compression testing machine. So from this testing, what we can understand? We can understand the specifications, right? We can understand the specifications here, as you can see. And most importantly, the ethics parameter get fulfilled. The all industry runs on the standardized. Without standardization, there is no ethics. Am I right? They run on IS standardization, IEEE standardization, right? Now, nowadays, all European unions want the same M5. Quadrant measuring machine part. Otherwise, you will not accept. Correct? Right? So these are the standardization. So from this IndiaMart.com, what we get? We get PO8. Right? Also, we will get PO number 11. Cost. All costs are there. What we can do is that for PO number 11, let's say now I am teaching PID controller. Okay? PID controller. By the way, let me tell you, Honeywell Instrumentation Department, am I right? Honeywell is your very right, renowned recruiter in case of especially instrumentation and electronics, Honeywell, right? You can see now, this product is developed by Honeywell, Honeywell DC 1000 PID controller, okay? And there is one more is here to that controller is there. We can create a question, what is the difference between these two and why the cost of Honeywell is more? Am I right? That becomes a very nice PO11 question. Correct? Okay? Now say for example in case of metrology, mechanical engineering. Am I right? Brown and Sharp is a company. At the same time, Mitutio is a company. If you purchase one caliper by Mitutio, the cost is very high as compared to any other. But why that cost is high? Because environmental is used, which is having very good thermal expansion coefficient. If the student can understand this, then probably I think we have done with our job. Am I right? <coughs> now let's say your student is appointed in Honeywell or somewhere. Are they not doing this comparison? They are doing comparison. You are working in purchasing of your equipment in your laboratories. We have to do this. First of all, which is very best? which is give more ROI to us. 
like this. Okay. Then there is, I am just mentioning to all of you, this is a new site that is mentioned in NASCOM, that is construction placements. So all civil engineering, there are not many placement opportunities are available here. Okay, that we can create. And most of the times, our student friends are knowing this. Pressureworld.com. The pressureworld.com is the website wherein we will get all recruitment questions. We will get all recruitment questions here. You can see. Account jobs, so many jobs are here. And then we will get all recruitment questions from this job. Okay? We will do this exercise after the lunch break. Okay. A quick exercise. We can do it here. Very simple. These recruitment questions, let's say for example, C compiler is there. In front of that question, just mark CO, just mark PO. Your outcome based question will be ready. Right? Give it to the student. So these are the given things and I already told you about the puzzle maker. Okay. Now, shall we go to the next? Let us see this EFE physics. Anybody from physics here? First year engineering, physics? Sir, I am respect to PO zone. <laughs> okay, shall I drop this then? Yes. Okay. So, which one we should take a consideration now? Yes? Thank you. But before that, <clears throat> let's do this. So, this is the subject. Anybody from IT department computer? Is there in your syllabus? This computing? Okay, all right. <laughs> so we can make the questions like this. I will just run through. Smart device form factors application where the paint is used to sense vibration. Okay, smart pins and other things. There is a company called as Burger Payment. Burger Pen. Burger Pen is a company. So from that we have taken this here. Right? So like this we can perform for many other subjects and applications. Here. Now see, the common uses for UPTS computing is more traffic is increasing, the smart factory, smart homes, these are the applications and that we can go and connect with this, right? Now let us see what are the various types of questions that we can create. You can see now. Hackathon is a question. Hackathon is a question or not? And hackathon's question creativity is? What is the pity level of hackathon question? <laughs> right? How many of you do you don't want your students to win, win hackathon? All of you want your students to win hackathon or not? Right, hackathon. <laughs> then university exam means same and same. Brilliant exam. Right. Industry visit. Industry visit, can we create questions? Obviously, what you are learning in industry visit, what was the purpose of it? In fact, 2.1.2 of MBA, they say that beyond syllabus only, you should go for industry visit. Not which is there in the syllabus. Right? Okay. Most importantly, after expert lecture question here, what we do is we conduct expert lecture, but we don't ask the question what the students have learned. So we should create a Google form, five MCQs immediately out of that. Out of that five MCQs, all four questions sometimes should be correct. 
right? Students cannot imagine that four questions, four questions are correct. We will play with their mentalities, you know, right? None of the above should not be the right option. All of the above should not be the right option, right? Then they will learn more. So we twist and turn and ask for their mentalities. Right? Next one. Now let's say some students have filed a file patent. Is it not the highest level of attainment? Right? Now you can just steal any patent uh, title and find out POs out of there. Obviously it is possible. Alright? Now let's say in our class there are five students who have filed the patent. So no need to take examination, they are directly attainment is 3 1. This table we have prepared from that ABET. In ABET they have given different different methods. Okay? Those who are very interested in MBA, you should study ABET. Because from ABET this MBA has been derived. And some important parts they have missed out. That is the problem. You can see next now. Specific MCQ question. Exhibition. Our students are going for exhibition. They see new products. IMTMA exhibition, MTEX, MTEX Bangalore, that exhibition is there to take. Maybe you are having so many, Martek, Maharashtra government also organizing exhibition. Right? Nearby to Ahmad Nagar, they are having defense, their exhibition. So the students go and what? Which PO that they see more in that exhibition? Can you tell me? In exhibition, if I go, which PO I can understand? Yes, which few? Modern tools and techniques. Very nice. Perfect. PO number 7, they understand more. PO number 12, they understand more. Lifelong learning. Am I right or not? Now see, there is somebody player called as uh, Alan Musk. Alan Musk, all of you know? His rocket fails and he makes more money out of that. So he has got that insurance take. Correct? Now see, previously, all this Google and everybody was playing. Now he has come with a new fundamental that wireless technology is enough for, for internet. So somebody new always something comes and he will blow away all business. PO number? PO number 12. Right? PO number 10. That's right. I see. There are so many PO's. <laughs> Mini project competition, classroom assessment techniques by Vanderbilt University. So Wonder Bill University, they have made one thing, something which is called as one minute paper. One minute paper. That is called as yellows in our case. After lecture is over, we ask the student what you learned. Then the students always tell what you have taught. Then you bring them to a platform called as what you have learned. And from that make use. Okay. So, so many interesting things are there. Test with snake and ladder. Yesterday I told you. Snake and ladder, crossword, game pedagogies. That is most... Uh, Engaging, I will show you the, some of the snapshots here afterwards. Okay, industry visits on standardization, specific MCQ test, tutorial questions, all these questions can be given again. Award received by students for low cost What is that? Means what, sir? Uh, that is unit number one means syllabus. CO number one. No, no, not satisfied. These are the various methods. You choose any ones. For each unit. For every unit, there will be CO1, PO1, CO1, PO2, isn't it? 3.1.2. Those six subjects you have pasted na? in SAR. Six subjects are there. For every subject, this is what the interaction was happening there. Isn't it? So for every subject, you can do like this. Some of the other method you can carry out. So that the POs can be done. Okay. Now let's say something interesting. Find the names of malicious programs given below. This is a WhatsApp puzzle. Right? Malicious program is WhatsApp puzzle. Uh, sorry, in computer engineering or IT department you are using this no? malicious programming. You can see now. And see what is the what is the student's comment? Indirect survey. So the students are very much interested like this. Okay. 
Malaysian program, let's see now. Ma'am, it was a very good experience for me to solve that emoji puzzle. I was enjoying it while solving it. See, in students' words now. And I also shared to my friends who are not in our college and they also enjoyed it. And thank you ma'am for taking such much efforts for us and you created this much exciting quiz for us. Thank you ma'am. Then I thought that probably that particular faculty member is projecting only the best. So then I checked their WhatsApp message. Every student, many students have appreciated. So that is there. I am not just showing only just very uh, painted one thing to all of you, but all students they are appreciated. Majority of the times if you give a same thing, what is mean by explain malicious program, if you do this exercise to students, then the student will take three days, four days, lot of all of you have to go, so many things. Create a puzzle and show them, paste it to them, that madam has told me within three hours everybody solved. Next generation students. Right? Okay. Next. Now identify the subject in this. This is the crossword puzzle. <coughs> Which subject? Computer networking. Right. CN. You call it a CN, huh? The CN is there. And see this puzzle is created. How this puzzle is created? By using yesterday I have told you. Puzzle maker, discovery education is created. Correct? And see the student response. The assignment was well structured and this was the first time by solving the assignment I enjoyed it. All the questions that were asked were also very good. Each question had a purpose that aligned the points of a teacher and the learner. I can say that the aim of an assignment has served its purpose. So the students are now nowadays judgmental. You know? they, they judge the faculty members also. So based upon this, correct? Right? Crossword and game pedagogies are very nice because they keep the students engaging. At the same time, they themselves understand where they are gone correct, where they are gone wrong. Okay, especially snake and ladder. In snake and ladder, all the options are exposed, right? And if you want to develop that NEP, this NEP way of MCQs, <coughs> then there is one more field required in examination sir. And what is that one more? Why they have chosen that option? Why they have chosen that option? Right? This is very important. Otherwise, the student only just think about this. Only pick mark something. So now the people has turned into two, two correct, three correct. In model n correct, right? Sir, that's why it is not outcome based. No, hey, sir. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right, right. That's why we are not able to recruit every student. I said yes. If you do, if you do otherwise. Yes, CET system, sir, aapke students se bhi. What I am saying, sir, aapke students se bhi jo rank niche student hai, is college ka. Uska student ka hai, pirvek hai. Then probably they will solve it. Am I agree? Am I right? Both of you? Yes. 
आपके स्टूडेंट प्लेसमेंट हो गए So what we should do? We should change our syllabus, no? Instead of forcing the syllabus, which is updated, we should change our syllabus. No, that is it. And that's why now we need to change our examination system. Why examination reforms is required? If previous examination system was best, then examination reforms were not required. But why do we require re examination reforms now? Because that is not serving the purpose. Right. Of course, the transformation is not easy. It will take its time. Right? We will have understand. Because in education system, SOP is not there. And thank God in education system, SOP is not there. Otherwise, could have been, we are not required. Robots could have been taught to our students. Right? So that is how it is. We can just do this. Now, I have done one more exercise for my subject this time. MST, I am teaching MST, Manufacturing, Machining Science and Technology to my third year students. You can just see, for example, in unit number one, there is a cutting tool. Cutting tool is a single point cutting tool is in our syllabus. Right? We found out which company is there. So, standard company is there. Who is producing that cutting tool? Then, we, then I went to their website. Then, then in that website, I will show you in the afternoon. Maybe this you can try for your own subjects. In their website, they are saying that we will conduct a test, assessment test for our students. For any students, assessment test they are conducted. And if the student passes an assessment test, which is of 50 marks, 50 questions are there, then they will give the certificate, diploma certificate, to the students. Right. Then I conducted two hours extra lecture for them that we can prepare like this, only just giving them narration. Few of the students could successfully complete that sandwich test. Right? Is it not pure then? <coughs> See the questions are. How are the questions? Choose the ISO workpiece material group which has the following characteristics. You can see this is a question from there. Choose the ISO working material group which has the following characteristics. Long chipping all this. Which few? Which few? Pivot number 8. Which PI? 8 point? 8.2 point? 8.2 point 1. Right? So like this we can make comparison. <coughs> Of many of the factors. Now, most difficult mathematics. I will just show you one example here of mathematics.
so that we can also come across with some new question formulations later. Now communication speed. How they map it was very difficult, isn't it? Communication speed. That English person. You can see now. Communication skills. The course is building like vocabulary. Right? C O has been designed, given the assignment here. Students will select energy use of synonyms, antonyms, idioms, and phrases for development of effective English model communication, competence and work. This is the C O. Right? Now how this question is created? And to my greatest surprise, there are many English speaking course consultants are there out in India. Some of the consultants are being very popular in YouTube. And in YouTube, in YouTube if you are having 2 lakh followers or some number is there, then the YouTube will pay you amount. That students have told me. That is what sir, we can do it. Right. So more number of subscribers they have been paid. And nowadays, the students, they call it as a freelancing jobs, freelancers. So many students are here for such type of jobs. That also I came across later on. Now see, these are consultants. Right, not many consultancy firms are there for recruiting our students. Nowadays, okay. The very renowned consultancy firm is Tata Consultancy Services. That's a consulting firm actually. Who does the turnkey projects? Short term projects. You can see now how we created questions. You are appointed as a motivation consultant by a company to improve more of their employees suffering from lockdown. A scenario. A scenario is frequently asked questions, FAQs are provided to you by the company. Pre record your video introduction speech cons consisting of effective use of idioms and phrases. Right? Review your own recording and self improve Upload this video in YouTube and submit this link to teacher for evaluation. So only link has to be submitted. Right? Now in MBA, you must have been asked many one question. How one question is enough for all the students? Am I right? So if we can create three, four questions and let the student twice their own, own question, then probably our response will be more. Am I right? That's the reason why I am showing you so many ways of doing these questions like this. Yeah. Let the student understand and use that question. Okay. Next one. Now, PHP, Computer Engineering. <coughs> Web programming is the subject. See, PHP development. You are appointed as a PHP developer for application of web programming. Consider following two statements. Today is a job responsibility. So P and Q, IES type, IES type portions. Continuous improvement in skill development like HTML, CCS, JavaScript, MySQL is required. And clients should be also recommended to determine appropriate technical solutions. Computer architecture and people. So then we create P and Q, both are correct, P and Q, both are wrong. P is correct and Q is the outcome of P. And Q is correct and P is the outcome of types. These are the different types of questions. Next one, complete technology, I already explained. SAPM. What is SAPM? Software Engineering Project. Correct course. In a multinational company, software development team adopted systematic process model in the reference to build and fix style of development. Out of following software development team can experience PO number 9. Which PI? Which PI of PO number 9? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. For this question, so which PI? For this question, can be applied? 9.3.1. Right? 9.3.2 also. Mm -hmm. Which question? Which you say? 9.2.2. Yes, 9.2.2. Okay, that is present. We can do this here. So this is how we can go for individual and 
इन्वर्ट किया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग नेम ऑफ द कोर्स इज इंडस्ट्री इंजीनियरिंग द वर्कर्स इन ऑटोमोबाइल इंजीनियरिंग कंपनी आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू वर्क फॉर फोर फिफ्टीन मिनट मिनट इन शिफ्ट ऑफ एट आवर्स द रिमेनिंग टाइम इज अलाउड फॉर रेस्ट पर्सनल नीड्स एक्सेप्ट determine the standard time for this job whose normal time is 5 minutes so which pio pio number 3 we have done it here calculate the number of pieces to be produced per day okay so i will show you some of the other programs also instrumentation engineering we are having subject here called as biomedical instrumentation am i right you are having subject this Select the more sustainable electrode placement system in EEG machine from the list of modernization of machine electrodes. Five electrode placement, twenty, ten to twenty, and thirty electrode placement. And four is all four, all one, two, three. Here. Yeah. So EEG machine that is used in normal in hospitals they are using. Right. So here the interest factor is IT MNC test question that we are doing. So this is the mechanical engineering course. <coughs> you can see the future scope of CMM as per our article. So article is being given and be concluded as. So Reni Shaw is a company who is building that probe, CMM probe, ruby crystal probe, right? So from what is the idea? Idea is to make the students learn that website of the recruiter, which is there in our syllabus, right? CMM. Reni Shaw is a company. Then we ask the student to do this, right? You can see Reni Shaw CEOs. The the case of Shaw here, say uh, same as the internet general sciences. So this is again a UG computer. You are appointed as a graduate trainee engineer in Chennai. So this question, right? Trainee and placement department. They share the question. They share the question that is what is asked is during their interview or during their placement, and based upon that we can make our POs. Okay, that's the best way to train our students, isn't it? You can see you are appointed as a graduate trainee engineering at Germany as a member in software development team. Which of the following is experienced by software development team when it adopts a systematic development process modeling preference to build and fix style of development? One or more than one option is correct. You can see increasing testing cost, increased development cost, decreased maintainability, and increased development. Right? Okay. So write like this question. What is the question here? So software development process, software engineering and process management is the name of the course. So from this course, we have taken up that software development process. Right? During the syllabus. Next one. If you share this question to your students, I think my coming of two days here is invested because this question nowadays all all industries are asking those students, right? Even in Google recruitment days also this is there. One of our alumni who is working in Google has given this question and he said, sir, yes, subject or what he is, right? And he is from mechanical engineering department. By the way, let me tell you this: in Google mechanical engineering student is there. Obviously, there are many students. If you search in Google 10 times a day, carbon emission resulted in atmosphere will be greater than 1 mg, less than 1 mg. It is also function of time, downtime, maintenance time also gets integrated into this question. Right? And to my surprise, answer is A. Greater than 1 mg. So they want to reduce the carbon emission. Day by day, day by day, they want to reduce the carbon emission, and that is creating lot of opportunities in them. Okay, in Google, this is what they say. Computer network. Then of course they are given this question to computer networking also here. And the interest factor has to be told to students. Then only it happens. Otherwise, I told you yesterday that we miserably collapse uploads if we don't share with them. Right? Obviously, the things are required. 
is PDA. What is PDA? Push down attenuator, right? Push down attenuator. Is used in many of the speed signals, right? Alexa is the best example for that. So this is the given here. You can see special symbols are marked in input set in beginning and the end of the movement of two-way push down attenuator to recognize their positions. For following languages, select a two-way PDA. So this is being given here. This is a recruitment test of Accenture. Accenture is a company who is asking this such type of questions. Okay. Directly we can get out of this. In computer engineering, given basic placement, the student feel it is like crime nowadays. They want higher packages for this. Right? Okay. You can see there are more of the PDA questions here. Examining the computation and commenting on input string and final string. So in our examination, what we ask the student, what is my input stream, how it is being done. But in gate examination or the Java, Java is a company no? for recruitment, what they do, they give output and they try, they say, find out the bug out of this. Where is the debugging required? Right? Which will any question? Which will any question to if you see they are reverse only. They give answer and then they ask question. Right, I have seen a question there, sir, wherein left machine is being given as a diagram, but they removed all nomenclature. And instead of that, they have written A, B, C, D, E. And they are asking that make a table. What is A, what is B, what is C, what is D, and what is the function of that? I will share the questions of following answers. Yes. Huh? Answer. Huh? Write the question of following answers. Write the question. <laughs> so prepare a question. So obviously, all of us will know preparing question paper is not that easy. We have to read thoroughly there. Then only preparation of the answer is right. So the students are taking lectures is the highest pedagogy. Next pedagogy is students are framing the questions. Students taking the lecture is the highest pedagogy, obviously. Okay, teaching by the student itself. Right. Next one here in computer engineering only. You can see. So this is the this is the recruitment test here. Stack may be inserted by PDS stack automata, verify the fact. In process of stack inspection. Stack automator doesn't read input. Okay. And let me tell you, there is a next gen computer, is a recruiter who has given this question for group discussion. For group discussion, they have given the question. Right. Group discussion always is non technical. That was my perception, but after seeing this, I changed my perception. Okay, TK. Right. So everywhere they are changing these styles. You can see now these are the PDA questions here. Okay. Civil engineering, concrete technology I have already shared with you. And this is for CMM machine, that for mechanical. Okay. Now we will see this question and probably I think we will take a break now. I think it is one of the seconds. Yes, one of the So we will take we'll see this question and we'll take a break. You are number six question. Right? Yesterday I told you write a short note on because there is no boundary about that. Now can we make a such a question wherein the format is given and the students will have to write in that format? Means what we are doing? We are structuring the question. Oh, sorry, we are structuring their answer actually. We are structuring their answer. Manje Marathi Mandi Kai what is the answer? We have to write their answer. You can see now. The question is like this. That these are the parameters. Complete following table. This is the only simple question. Complete following table. You can see. Rate of corrosion. Corrosion norms. Removal of corrosion activities by maintenance person. Analysis from corrosion class. So we give a paragraph. And then we give the students this table. And see so many pivots can be mapped. One question so many things can be done. Right? Steel composite fiber optic cables, these are different different questions okay, that we can do. I will share this PDF to you. In fact, it's very a large number of questions are there. If you want, I can share with this PDF to all of you. We can go ahead with this. Right? Such so, about outcome-based questions. Now there is a difference between what we are doing right now and what we have to do. Okay? This question was asked from yesterday to me, that is, 
why it is required now our our syllabus our existing system is not not outcome based even though we say it is outcome based but it is not exactly the outcome based if you want to make it to outcome based then we need to relate this to higher education relate this to entrepreneurship relate this to placement then only it will become right so that gap we need to fix it up here and accordingly that we have to give it so i will after the uh, our lunch break is over then i will show you the t shape engineer t shape okay, the t shape will decide what will be our progress through the syllabus framing depth and core concept and other things okay so previously we used to say that electronics electronics plc scada is automation but nowadays it is not and everywhere there is a computer engineering everywhere in all branches so pio5 is meant for that only so that we can integrate the it solutions to everywhere right okay so let us see this after the lecture okay. now how we as it is implemented let us see right as it is given is model question paper and based upon this only i have told you whatever is there Now let us see this. This is civil engineering. Civil engineering model question number one. As you can see here. Now how this model question number one and examination reform document are related? This statement is given here. As you can see. The statement is given here. The model question paper answers to blueprints. The primary aim of these question papers is to bring clarity about the process of connecting questions to performance indicators. And that performance indicator came from came from ASCD examination reform document. Performance indicator. I have shown you now performance indicator. Two step process. Competency POs are converted into competency. Competency is converted into PIs. Two step process. Okay, two step process they are mentioned, and hence the course outcomes. Further, this question paper demonstrates how Bloom's taxonomy can be used to understand and quality and quality of question papers and their effectiveness in assessing higher order abilities. The purpose of examination reform document is to. Is to. Go for HOTs. Examination reforms wants the question paper to be set as HOTs, right? And as per that, there is open boot test for HOTs. I think what you can do is uh, maybe some 20 percent marks or 30 percent marks, sir. You can make it as open boot test in your system to begin with, and that is very acceptable in the ASCD range. That's not a problem at all. We are given already. The structure of question papers, number of question choices given, time given for examination can vary based on the practices of the university or college. This is already given. They are given. Okay. Now I will like to highlight you towards this first question. <laughs> the first question is. You can see you are appointed as. site engineer right so that's why i told you that you are appointed as looks very lucrative for all our students that you can go to i think uh, i have given it this pdf to sir but he has shared with yes so your where it is available now right now i'll tell you a story so that we can have some relief from that lunch break isn't it so maybe our parents or maybe we are also telling our children that once you finish your 10th then the life is very easy isn't it afterwards it is very easy we know it is not never easy the meaning is after 10th examination is over every day will become like 10th every day of your life will become like 10th the same thing continues with hsc then afterwards right we say after 12th will be our life will be very easy it doesn't make easy in fact after the, our life becomes every day like 12th examination afterwards in the similar way we <coughs> then similar way phd also many faculty members who have not completed phd they feel that after phd life is easy right 
But let me tell you honestly, after PhD, every day we become like PhD. Right? So it is, this is how it can be <coughs> modified here. So the changes are inevitable, dear friends. <coughs> the transformation is inevitable. There is only one thing constant in this world that is change. Right? So change is inevitable. This is the AICT question paper, sir. And likewise, see, this is the first place they have given. You are appointed as site engineer and have been tasked to carry out the safe investigations for an earth dam construction site. Right? Describe the investigation. So, therefore, whatever I told you in the morning is aligned with the ASAT examination reform document only. I have not told anything out of box or something else. Okay? In 2017, there was a workshop at COEP before this examination reform document has came. And our mentor was there and he invited me, that's why. And we have done so many exercises there, then so many discussions happened about this examination reform document. This is modified version number 12, dear friends, which they have come up with. <laughs> Whatever is been loaded, uploaded there, now it is version number 12. Otherwise, 1 to 11 versions they have made so many changes, discarded all this. Then people told that we don't know how to make cures. Then that also you please make it. So two-step process, they have made it very simple. The POs are now divided into competencies. Competencies are divided into PIs. Very simple process that they have done it. And this is what the format is. You can see, see, this is the format here. And this is what the preamble says. And the preamble is very simple. I would like to just direct to every one of you. Here, once again, you can see this is the preamble. The model question papers are service to groupings. The primary aim of these question papers is to bring clarity about the process of planning questions to performance indicators. So performance indicator PIs are most important. And from this year onwards, you have to make a PI in your, you have to make accommodated a PI in your examination system, question paper. Okay? We don't have any about any other choice than this. It's already mandatory in UOA that I mentioned yesterday only. Right? At the same time, Further, these question papers demonstrate how room taxonomy can be used to understand the quality of question papers and their effectiveness in assessing underlying these higher order abilities. The entire aim of ASAT model question paper is to bring to higher order abilities. NBA, NBA team has taken out a workshop at Habitat, uh, that, what is that? Habitat is something is there, the hotel where the orientation program has been organized for all well And yeah. this year, what will I have? Right. So you well have been organized and they have uploaded in the website also. And they have mentioned that Bloom's taxonomy level number two is not good even for first year engineering subjects. Forget about all this. Even not in second year engineering. Right. I will show you that snapshot I am there with me. At what level of Bloom's taxonomy we are preparing the students because they feel that Bloom's taxonomy level number two is not at all sufficient for even first year engineering. Forget about second year or third year. Right? That mandatory norm is there already with me that I can give to you. And as you can see here, that's why I have uh, just mentioned that scenario based learning, case study based learning. You are appointed as site engineer and have been asked to carry out site investigation for an earth dam construction site. Name is the so these are the names of the subject here. Now we will complete one task within ten minutes. And what is that? Please find out your subject is there in your ASAP model reform document. And what is the bloom taxonomy level that they have mentioned? Please find out that. Yes. Model question paper, madam. Model question paper in that there is given not many things.
check whether your subject is there or not. Right? Your subject is there? But all PIs are not covered, man. All POs are not covered. Just take it there. How many POs are covered there? Just take it. And obviously, you cannot make the same subject to students, na? Same question to students. You need to change a bit. Right? Ah, yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
what level of doing success only you want your students to achieve. That is now a major phrase of all of us. Our students are able to evaluate, or our students are able to analyze, or our students are able to apply, or our students are able to understand. Right? Understand what? Understand something, do something. That group taxonomy level is the most important part. So this is what is the solution given. Now the next very important before we go further is how to implement any peak. Is given in NAC manual very nicely. NAC manual 2022, which is uh, which is I think which is updated updated in June 2022, right? And the IIQA, IIQA is just like your PQ, pre qualifying MBA. In that they have mentioned this. These are the steps. I made a diagram out of that. They say that how you have implemented NEP is multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary. Academic banks of trade, skill development, integration of Indian knowledge system, focus on OB, you can see focus on MP, right? Focus on OB and distance and online education, they have one. So nowadays we are having a hybrid mode of learning, right? So this is very important. So all those who feel that first year or second year can be a blue section of level number two, please change from today office. This is mandatory now as far as the MBA is considered. You can see. Okay, once again, I am just showing this to all of you. Right? And I have already just now, sir, discussed with you, sir, that to begin with, what we can do is, to begin with, what we can do is, we can make some open book test. Let's say 20% of the final exam can be from open book test. To begin with, something we can make it short of that. And most importantly, in that open book test, please you also search Google and ensure that these questions are not directly available in <laughs> Google. Okay? Otherwise, there will be a big blur. I always give challenge to my students that I will also search Google, you also search Google. I will ensure that questions before will not be there in Google. Right? Then the student, you know, they stop searching Google. And later on, I made question paper from Google only. Right. <laughs> and then later on, two to three students understood this. Are they, are they so right? And then next day, next examination, I really do this. Then the students say, Kai sir, Kosal to me. Right. So we can play with the mentality of the students. Mentality of the students not learning. Of course, if they are learning mentality is there, then obviously it is very good for all of us. Isn't it? So we can play with them. And in fact, let me tell you once again, one sentence from my side in the first half of the session that the teacher is not required for passing an examination nowadays. And this hard fact we need to accept first. They accept us because of hard work They are not required. <laughs> Just imagine, somebody tell you that you are not required. How we feel? Very difficult. But this is a real fact. Because of the bloom taxonomy level and that we are maintaining not in a paper. Even if we see that all the question papers, all the questions are not from last year's question paper, we achieve many things actually. We achieve many things. Then people say it is not possible, sir. Then I always give an example of gate exams. Always the syllabus say, everything say, everything say. But the question paper is very different one. And that's why they need to study about it, right? Okay. Now see, this one question I would like to show to all of you and then I, I think probably we can go to some with the figures here first, right? You can see now, instrumentation engineering, process loop components, this is your, I think it is there, no, syllabus? Process engineering, right sir? Develop a PLC program for automation of water filling plant. Then, normally what happens is, we give them the question, of course this is a old question now, may not be there in the industry ready right now. Very, very nice question in 2017, maybe 2016. But not a, not a nice question now, 2022. Am I right, sir? Develop a PLC program for automation of bottom building plan in that only don't give this question, give the steps. First, what should be done? Second, what should be done? Third, what should be done? Right? Fourth, what should be done? It's just like a road. 
road map or the railway tracks that we are going, we are giving to the students so that the student reaches the destiny. You can see it. Develop the process diagram for the same. Develop the PLC ladder program. Implement the develop PLC ladder diagram simulator in PIL. So like this, we can give some definite question to the students. So this is very important. Now I can understand that giving something, making something new is very difficult, right? So I will just share with you, dear friends, here. We have made this format, Bloom's taxonomy. At what Bloom's taxonomy level we can say? Obviously, previously there was no ASCD reform document, nothing, nothing was there. Okay, and that time we have made this format. What is the CO of SPPUC levels? Then what is the CO BT level of gate examination? Gate examination of IES examination of BT level guy. Right? And whatever is there that is highest one that we can do. We have created this format. And this format is now copyright. We have applied for copyright and we got copyright of this also. In OB, you are having a lot of scope to make anything which is new to make a format. Apply for copyright, you will get the copyright. Right? And this copyright where it is useful? 5.5 innovation in teaching learning process. Am I right? 5.5 is a big question, in fact. Right? 20 mass question. I don't know. And 12 marks are for peer review. How we have done that? Right? So you can get this copyright here. You can see in 2019 we got this copyright of this of this particular format. So any format new you prepare, you can get this copyright. You can just see now. Okay. All our ND coordinators we have applied for this copyright and then we got this copyright. So we can do that. How we can do that? This is a website, copyright office. 500 rupees are required, that's all. Okay, right? If you are giving, if you are filing copyright on the name of institution, then you have to get a NOC from principal. NOC from principal. That this is a NOC, then we can apply, we can get a copyright. Now, why this copyright and everything are required? Just imagine we are now swimming. It's like hurdle. And that's what we require some quick pins, some quick awards, you know, accolades. And for that, you can apply copyrights. These copyrights will be helpful for all of us here. And we can just see registration of copyright and then we can find everything. Documents we can upload here. You can just see forms are available, documents are available. You can upload this online only. No need to go for offline either. And then we, then it is a waiting period is there for one month. Just like in waiting, there is waiting period is too long actually. But for this waiting period is one month or two months across. And then immediately they will give you copyrights. All game pedagogies, whatever I have shown you in the morning, all these where we have made copyrights. Okay. The copyright is not just to uh, make something else against your others, but to save ourselves. Who has told you, right? So this is what we can do it here. Anything you can develop new format, you can do copyright here. This is what I wanted to share, share with all. Okay. Now, these are the websites, dear friends, of our recruiters. Basically, our subject, now let's say for example, cutting tool, I am teaching. Then I am searching which is the industry here, who is manufacturing that, and what is happening with it. Then Sandvik is a company. Sandvik India is a company who is producing single-point cutting tool. And you can see here, they can have their e-learning packages, then they are having assessment tests. These assessment tests are available in Accenture website, in TCS website. In fact, all websites nowadays, the given things are available here. Okay. And now you can see, so this I was showing to Madam just now, that Accenture.com, Machine learning standardization. So we type here machine learning standardization by Accenture. And you can just see there are white papers available in the Accenture company here. Okay, white papers are available. And many standardizations they are given. For example, Accenture is following this standard. You can see in 2000, Richard Ritter is done this type. So what we can give to the students, let's say for example, CO number, where we are learning machine learning. 
and machine learning is POA. What is POA? It is. Right? Standardized. So what we can ask to the student that find out what are the standard, standard practices that is being done in by Accenture. Right? And there we can find out this type of questions here. Right? Okay. Now let us go to the most important part of today that is how to do this finding out the job skill requirements. You can see now in pressureworld.com I clicked on this software tester. Let us say software tester is there. Okay. A software tester is a very lucrative career. Very lucrative in fact. Right? Those who are testing the software validation, their packages are very high. Okay. You can see here the test engineer they have given, job description is given. Job description is given. Now, my question to all of you is can we see our syllabus into this? Just check it out. Maybe some portion is there in our syllabus. See, the unit we have taken in software engineering. Software engineering. Which unit is there, madam? Software testing. Software testing. Okay. Now see, what should be our CEO of the software testing? Good per knowledge of performance testing concepts. Am I right? What is my good knowledge? So can we create one question on this? Yes? How do you so, validate our uh, ah, software? Okay, you can write, but you write this. This is a very good exercise. We'll just show. How to validate? How to validate? What? Software testing. Okay, how to control Okay. How to validate the software table, right? Okay, how to validate the software table? What is the proof astronomy level of this question? Bt evaluation. Bt level 5? Right now. Bt level 5. In which unit is there? Which unit? Last unit. Unit number 6. Means CO6? CO6, right? There is CO6. Which PO now? Validation testing is as per standardization. No? Yes. So PO number 8. Yes. Am I right? right? PO8. Correct? And, and then which PI? Just take it out. Just take it out. Which PI? I'm sorry, dear friends. My PI is not by heart. POs are by heart. But PIs are not by heart. But I assure next time it will be by heart. We are working on that. Right? Because so once it is by added, then we can make the reflection. Marathi me jala mukta na chintan manan put pude karte hain. Right? Which PI now? Eight point two point. Eight point two point. Right now. Eight point two point. Okay. Now see. I will show you most important part now. Zero years experience. How much is the package? No, two lakh is the starting point. Ten lakhs. Now, who will be selected as two lakhs and who will be selected as ten lakhs? Yes. No, who will be selected as ten lakhs? See, all are zero years only, na? All are zero, zero years only. There is nothing extra. Yes. 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 They brought new, new ideas, new concepts. You made a copyright of that. You will be benefited. Then your student will show copyright to that company. You will be placed where? In 10 lakhs bracket in place. Am I right or not? So we need to tell the students. So what you will write? What will you add in, the, in your, uh, uh, in that particular question? One more you have to add in bracket. Which is the company you are here? You can see which is a company. 
teamless teamless digital is a company right up teamless digital okay now if you can make it 10 lakh rupees in practice right down 10 lakhs okay give this students this question jo gurun jai sir am i right jo gurun aaj din ke yes if you answer this question sir was asking me this question very nice perfect question sir you are you are really asking what is what will be happening in second year what will be happening in third year what will be happening in final year so this is how it happens if the students give a perfect answer you get <coughs> and if the student only gives introductory answer you will get full the choice is yours life is yours this is what we can tell the students very simple am i right in which year by the by the, uh, by the way in which year the subject is there in seven semester okay fine finally okay. okay hands on experience in geometry is there geometry is there what is geometry i don't know exactly that's what i'm asking pictures scripting is there Performance monitoring tool is there? Anything? Obviously, it must be. Able so to create, maintain performance dashboards, database monitoring and analysis. A candidate must have a minimum of pressure as a senior test engineer. Now see, senior test engineer, but they are ready to recruit with pressure also. Right? The candidate can get graduate. The salary range is between salary will depend on the interview. He is a full time in Bengal, of course. It is written here, right? The hiring process all depends upon the company. So it has been taken, etc. Your thing is given, right? Okay. Maintenance performance script repository. Something is there. Okay. Find out the syllabus out of this. Maybe we can now do one exercise. Tomorrow, na, you when you go to the class, you share with them first and have a group discussion. Keep eye on them. The students will give answer to you. Am I right? Now see, this J meter is not there in our syllabus. So those students who are interested in such type of jobs, they should get that into seminar, into projects, into mini projects. I don't know. They can give seminars. Seminar is there, no sir. And seminar choices can be anything. Right? So they can give it here and do it like this. Right. Next one. Software tester, English teacher only. Here you can see. Can we see syllabus in this? See, I am giving you an example right now. Later on, we will do we will do for each branch of engineering like this. Okay, each branch of engineering will do this. Yes. Analyze user stories or use cases requirements for validity and visibility. Collaborate closely with other team members and departments. Do you remember? Analyzing user stories and use cases requirements for validity and visibility. Which is this pivot? Yes. Engineering college, isn't it? See POs and PT levels now. My dear, the chapter called the PO college. Right? Yes, PO number one. Okay, engineering. Collaborate closely with other team members and departments. PO number. PO number nine. Intelligent PO. Right, absolutely. Execute all levels of testing. System integration, regression. Testing is. Or otherwise, PO number six also. Design and develop automation scripts when needed. What is PO? Right. Design and develop automation scripts. PO number three. Correct. PO number three. Right. Perfect. Detect and track software defects and inconsistencies. Which PO? PO number six. Engineering society. Safety, isn't it? Ah, PO four. Okay. PO four. Right. PO. Provide timely solutions. Your number? Yes. Project management and finance. 
ये मैनेज इधर प्रोजेक्ट ना वोट एंड सीडीएम टेक्निक्स ये वो नंबर एलेवन अप्लाई क्वालिटी इंजीनियरिंग प्रिंसिपल्स टू वर्ड द एजाइल प्रोडक्ट साइड लाइफ साइकल एजाइल 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 सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इज देयर इन योर सिलेक्स यो नंबर ट्वेल प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन यो नंबर प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टेन करेक्ट यो नंबर टेन कम्युनिकेशन इसेंट इट हाउ मेनी पीओज़ आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस जॉब नो द पीओ व्हिच यू डिडन्ट मैप इज़ रिक्वायर्ड हमारे Am I right or right? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, dear friends. Now I will be very strict here for last next 15 minutes. Don't take it otherwise. ASCD examination reform document has given POs, PIs, 81 PIs. They said in which year? In which year? ASCD has given the document. 2000. 2018. They are given. Am I right? How many PIs are there? 81 PIs are. Out of that, how many POs are required? Only 12. Am I right? Still, we are making dash. And we say that this is not possible. Not in syllabus. Not possible. This, that, you will think. I am sorry, dear friends. The dash means the teacher didn't understand. The teacher is not ready. Simple thing. Right, but the students cannot say this. That's why they keep mum. Right, but industry say this. Ki nahi, ho jaani. Right, I think police students sir, students ne ethos nahi. Asman the badhsi industry ko lage samne. Aye, so much kya mind nahi sir. Kaise kya chalna apna karna sir. Builder, builder is just telling this. The government wants to put another problem. Right, I'm sorry, I'm saying this, but we need to practice it. To all the students who hold, sorry, to us from the other side, minimum, minimum half job pay, ever. Fifty thousand to seventy thousand monthly. My just a name, but how many viewers are required? Which we were not mapping. Five to ten, five to eleven, five to twelve. Where are not? And it is there in the syllabus. Okay, so like this we can make it everything. Now let us do this exercise here. Okay. Let us do exercise. Nobody dot com पे जाके आप उनको क्या समझेंगे? Right? I will now just share with you how to do that. Okay. Please ask the student also to find out this. Let them also know the title, right? Here you can see now. I will write here. Which you want mechanical? You say mechanical. Okay. Mechanical engineer. See, I have just come. Experience is pressure. Okay. Location search. You just search. That's all. Now in this scene, by the way, let me tell you, there is a very interesting factor. What is interesting factor? The students who are complaining, give me login to check at me in Google Meet. We must have observed so many things. They were blaming. They want work from home. Jobs. The students who are not ready, they were now work from home jobs. Probably you will wonder that work from home jobs are nowadays very lucrative jobs offered to our students. They everybody wants work from home, right? Okay, you can see it. Work from office. The new role has came now that work from home. Work from home W H. Now work from office they call it as not offline only, right? And see how many jobs are there right now. Okay, let's go for this engineering here. You can just see. What about more? So these many areas where our students are having jobs in mechanical engineering. Just see which are those. Engineering software and QA. Am I right? 
How many jobs are available? Three, seven, two, two. So somebody says that mechanical engineering in the IT has some money. I am sorry, but it has become poor now. It has become a poor, right? You can see now. Product and manufacturing, 459 jobs are available. Research and development, 91. Others are 57. Customer success service is 38. Right? You can see IT, product management, all this. Aviation and aerospace, 1. Environment, health and safety, 1. Healthcare, life sciences, 1. Legal, derivative, 1. Okay, shipping and maritime. Right? What we understand from this? That there are opportunities available, but I think we are not ready for this. This is what is available here. Now let's go for this. Software, let's say apply. And then you can see there are so many things which are coming, 0 to 5, 4 years. You can see okay. good knowledge, etc. These jobs are available which are giving 1 to 5 crores. <laughs> right? Okay. 75 to 100 is this much available. 50 to 75 is much available. Now let us go for this and let us find out. Okay? But in my opinion, uh, this, all these students, we need to study this first of all very carefully. Okay? Serious or uh, infrastructure engineer, you can see, it is available here. Lead engineer automation. In Siemens. Experience required is given. So we will search for that. So like this now, can you search? All of you? Can you find out how many jobs are available? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, so do it this first. And tell me which is one you can do. So that we will take one example. Yes. Okay, you find it. Yes, you, are, you will also find out, then I will also find out. Then let's reach together. Okay. It's 3, 3 p.m. right now. We'll end this activity by 15 minutes. Which CO, which PO, which BT level? This question. Yes. A bracket is attached to a vertical column by means of two identical rivets. The permissible shear stress is this. If a load P is applied to an eccentricity E, the minimum cross section area of each of the rivets to avoid delivery. CO number means which which syllabus? Some, Some yes, ma'am. Strength of materials. Right? Second year. Second year. In our case, it is second year. That's fine. Right. Which unit? Now, from next time onwards, any question comes now, then you should decode it as CO, as PO, as PI, as BT level. Your life becomes easy. Right? Yes. CO, which CO, which unit of our syllabus? Let's say unit number 5. Okay, CO 5. PO, which PO now? No. Ah, avoid failure. Failure is safety, correct, sir. Engineer and society. PO number? 
PO number 6. All POs to be bimetric first. Then what is possible? Otherwise not. <laughs> right? Okay, see. CO5 to PO6. What is pretty level? Evaluate, yes. Evaluate. What is the minimum, madam? They have asked what is the minimum? Evaluate. You, BT level? No, BT level 5. BT level 5. Right? BT level 5. And then PO6. See, CO, 5, BT level 5, PO6. And what is PI now? What is PI? Find out what is PI. 6.4.1, this is our PI. Is it right? Interest factor? Okay. Okay. Correct? And tell the students that this comes in gate examination. Right? Now what will happen? The moment you say it comes in gate examination, you think that all the students will run behind is not true. Is not correct. Those students who wants to go for higher education, what? Those students who want to go for higher education, go for gate assumption, they will take it seriously. The rest of others, right? So that's why we have to develop a question bank. Use wise question bank and give to the student. Let the student get a choice. On the question, tell right? This is what exactly NBA wants, huh? not a single question given to all the students. Alright? Yes. So like this we can make it here. Okay, let's take next question. Yes. Now tell me which view? Now obviously once gate examination is known then we can modify that question. Right? And give it to the student. Answer there itself. Yes. Okay. Now let us take some question paper from other other streams also. Right? Okay, it is not telegram. Yes. We will take one one one. One one each at least. Thank you. 
Now, if such type of questions are not there in your question paper, what do we say? If such type of questions are not there in our question paper, what do we say? We say that that particular question paper is not outcome based question paper. Simple. Am I right? It is process based question paper. LOTs. Obviously, LOTs are required. I am not saying that you don't you directly change it everything. They are required, but they are not enough for outcome, right? <coughs> now see, consider the problem of reversing a single link list. To take an example, given the link below is given here. Which one of the following statement is true? What is the pity layer of this? What is the pity layer? Yes, pity level is five. Okay. Now, if the student can solve this example, it means that BT level 1 is done. Right? BT level 2 is done. BT level 3 is done. BT level 4 is also done. If the student can able to solve this. Right? But if it is at BT level 5, then BT level 6 is it done? you think that it is okay. Let us go for IES examination. Another 10 minutes. IES examination. Can we search IES examination question number? Mains and prelims both. Right? Okay, let us do this. Can you able to see? Question number 19. Which one of the following stages does the river bed consist of mixture of boulders, gravels, shingles and alluvial sand deposit created by itself? Right? And see the explanation is given here. Now tell me which view? Yes? Knowledge, okay sir. PO number 1, right. The PO number 1, okay. And CO, you can make it from your syllabus. Right? What is the PI now? One point? One point six point one. Okay? Now nobody gives a doubt when the teacher says that PI is there, it's okay. Fine, done. Right? So there is no debate. <laughs> there is no debate that why it is like this and this. No, not required. Okay? Right. Now let us see this next. I think we have taken a very general example, general section first. Question number 32. Which PO you just tell me PO? Perfect question. Perfect. This is what I want. 
पॉइंट टू कंक्लूड बिफोर ये ब्रेक टीचर ही सेट करता है ऑब्वियस टीचर वो आईएएस एग्जाम एग्जाम में क्या करते हैं सर एप्लीकेशन बेस में इफ यू वांट टू गेट अ जॉब यू हैव टू अप्लाई एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड परफेक्ट क्वेश्चन सर एक्चुअली दिस इज व्हाट आई वांटेड टू कंक्लूड दैट एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड ओनली विल गिव जॉब्स That is not coming in summative assessment. 
then that may be coming in formative assessment also. Right? You can see it. And then these are the PIs that we have already <coughs> decoded. Right? For the mechanical engineering students here, HSC. And then Indian institution system, then writing COs effectively, all these are being covered here. You can see now. Okay? Learning level cognitive abilities to the students to achieve. Assessment method to be adopted. To understand BT level, we have taken almost two sessions about this. How the BT level can be assessed. I hope that it is very clear now. The BT level, okay, right. You can see the level of attainment, remembering, understanding, applying, creating, generating new ideas. In fact, it is from that only that Vanderbilt University action verbs for assessment that I have given already. So previously. The BT level was as per nouns, but now they have converted into action verbs. Why? Because doing something is like payment. Right? What is meant by lecture and giving lecture? What is the difference? What is meant by lecture? Nobody pays. <laughs> right? But giving lecture, everybody pays. So it is like this. Right? Assessment planning, you can see. And to support to you, whatever I said, continuous internal evaluation, you can see CIE here. And yes, double E is semester end examinations, where the students are given a limited amount of time and abilities to Where open-ended, open-ended questions are 12 hours questions. Okay, 12 hours, 14 hours. Okay, you define to them, but not more than 24 hours. Not more than 24 hours are given. Okay, yes, you can see here now. Alignment of question paper, overall weight, Bloom's taxonomy. As per this overall weightage of the assessment to teach each Bloom's learning levels. So that's why POs we have divided into Bloom's taxonomy. PO number one is level number three. PO number three is level number six, like this. So that we understand its mechanism out of it. Okay. A good and reasonable examination paper must consist of various difficulty levels to accommodate the student capabilities of the students. Here, if you can see the model question paper, in that model question paper, they have given that how many percentage of the questions are in Bloom's taxonomy level number 1, level number 2, level number 3, level number 4, 5, 6. I have given you that, I have shared you that model answer, model question paper. In that for your every subject it is given there. Now you can see higher order cognitive abilities, course projects, open ended experiments in laboratories, project based learning models, MOOCs, co curricular experiences, mini minor projects, final year projects, inter internship experiences. And e portfolios of student work that also can be done. And using scoring rubrics of assessment tools. So, yesterday we have seen the rubrics here. Most importantly, open book examination. Now, see what they have given advantages less demanding on memory and hence less stressful. Questions can emphasize more on problem solving applications of knowledge and higher order thinking skills rather than simple recall of the facts that they have mentioned here. Assessment questions can reflect real life situations. That's why I have covered that so uh, depth because it's a real life situation. You can see here. Open book examinations are like real life situation, not what is it or something like this. We give the students that what are the aspects in designing and development of those metro pillars. This can be the open book test. Open book test examination has to be real life situation. Sir, I think this we need to put up to you only one that real life situation is the open book test. Okay, it is given here. And designing a good open book test set questions that require students to do things with information available to them rather than to merely locate the correct information and then summarize and rewrite. The question in open book exam must be take advantage of the format and give more weightage to the application of knowledge. Application of knowledge starts with what? Which BT level? BT level? Apply. Apply. Three. Right? Three is the minimum level. Critical thinking and use of resources for solving real life complex engineering problems. As the nature of questions is complex, it is to be ensured that the students get enough time. You can see. Open book test questions typically take longer time compared to traditional examinations. It is advisable either to set less number of questions that encompass two to three concepts taught or allocate longer duration of time for examination. Right? So 12 hours, 13 hours we can give to the students. And these are the reference books that they have given here. Then later on, for computer science and engineering also, we have decided, we have 
assume this pi is how many pi is are there that you can decode now in your question paper if you have mentioned co po bt level and pi it means that you have done already you have implemented this some of the question is given here now you can see real life question a electric train is powered by the machine which takes the supply from 220 volt dc train running above the train flow machine draws current of this is calculate the new speed of the train once it picks up the speed where the torque required is only 70% assume the motor has a resistance of 0.1 ohm across the terminals what is the bt level of this question analyze analyze four level right in second year we are studying or in first year we are studying this am i right or not yes then this is the analyze carly wants here all this they have given albert is working on a 32 bit machine some examples we have they have given based on this we have only made this so many other games you can see automatic tethering of milking machine of the order of the cow so it is given here can electric vehicles of ion batteries so these are the questions that is given as a model question paper and you can see this model question paper now questions marks co pl and pi is given We have added one more in that is PO. PO is required. PO number this and model question number is given. Okay, yesterday we have done this same. Am I right? Now you have to summarize it this way. How many questions are in which PD level? You can see Bloom's taxonomy level by mass distribution level two. 36% level 3 is 46% level 4 is 18% they are they are given it okay and course outcome wise mass distribution co1 8 marks co2 20 marks co3 24 marks co4 12 marks co5 6 marks so either you can adopt a system wherein all co's are having same all units of syllabus are having same marks or otherwise you can make some certain orientation like this that is up to you Okay, now see they have modified this again. Marks, BT level, CO, PO, and PI codes. Okay, PI codes. PI codes have to be indicated now. You can see model question paper once again here. As you marks that they are given. Performance indicator codes are also given. You can see this is distribution of marks here. And this is rubrics. Rubrics for seminar, rubrics for projects is given. Either this can be adopted as it is, or otherwise we can modify it as per our need and we can do this. Okay. Needs improvement, you can give one marks, let's say two marks, three marks, something like this. Proficient. Okay. Rubrics for review. Especially one question which is asked in projects is how you have decided that out of four students. Which student is performed highest, contributed highest? Normally, what happens that the students who speaks more, we give them more marks. But the student who has really worked very hard, maybe he is not able to speak more, right? But then, this is what normal feeling is. All the students, among all the students, that there is a poor student group. So therefore, GA and IA is very important here. GA and IA. GA is a group assessment, and IA is a Individual assessment. Normally, what we should do is, let's say 200 marks are there in a project. For example, I am just taking. Okay, out of that, if suppose we are giving 160 marks for the student, then 160 marks has to be divided among four. It is like this. It is coming here like this. You can just see. Group A, G A is a group assessment, and I A is a individual assessment. You can see here. Individual assessment. Develop 3D models. So what we should do is. this rubrics we give it to the students only let the students themselves analyze and give you qualitative feedback and then based upon that qualitative feedback we can make it a quantitative analysis for them so like this we can make it okay so whatever i told you it is all here right I have to, uh, told you something different or very fancy here. Whatever I told you is here only in this case, only here. Okay. 
this is what we can do it here. Right. Now the next important part here, dear friends, that how many COs should be there? Okay. Is there any guidelines for COs? So that is what sir has told me to you summarize to all of you. You will find in NAC manual. In NAC manual there is a procedure given. You can just see. This is a NAC manual, NAC manual for institutional accreditation for autonomous colleges. Okay, Self-report autonomous colleges. This is the autonomous college manual. And in that you come across last, right? And then they have given here how many COs should be there. So these are the terminologies. Now can you tell me if suppose I want to designate the terminology, then which assessment method should I plan? Suppose I want to de designate this terminology amongst everyone, which assessment method should I plan? Yes, I want to designate this terminology amongst everyone. Then which assessment method should I plan? Yes sir, formative absolutely. Then, yesterday we have done then, crossword. So in crossword what we do? We give a line and you make it into one terminology, right? Okay. Now you can see here, the course they have written here. The course is a unit of two to six grades in a formal program. Three grade course, we have three classroom sessions of one hour duration during each week for the entire semester. Example program here they have given. COs are the statement that describe what students should be able to do at the end of the course at line. There can be 6 plus or minus 2 for courses with 2 to 4 credits and 8 plus or minus 2 for courses with 5 to 6 credits. Okay, examples are given in the notes. Okay. You can see 6 plus or minus 2 courses for 2 to 4 credits. Right? Means for 2 credit course, how many COs should be there? That's what has given very nice studies. For two courses, how many credits? For two credits, sorry, two credits, how many COs? See, six plus or minus two means four and eight. Am I right? Means for means for two credits, how many COs? Four COs. Two credit course, four COs. For three credit course? Six COs. For three credit course, how many? Six COs. Right? And for four credit course? Eight. Eight COs should be there. Okay? Now let us come around to your syllabus. Sir, I think this is your syllabus. Sir, excuse me. NBA guideline is different from this. NBA says around six, sir. Uh -huh, In criteria number three, they have mentioned six. six. No, no. Around six, they have written. I will show you NBA manual. In category number 3 they have written sir, maximum. around 6. No, they are writing that terminology maximum 6, like that. No, I will show you sir. Here you can see it, sir. Number of outcomes of the course expected to be around 6. They have clearly mentioned, not 90. Nothing, 6, around 6. And in NAC manual, they have mentioned 6 plus minus 2. <coughs> okay? Now see, around 6, 3.1.5. Right? So in this case of NBA, because NBA is very engineering specific, so they understand that three credit course we are having per course. That's why they have mentioned six, around six, that is step to six, right? I will suggest to all of you is that number of units equal to one CO, you please make one CO. So it becomes competition easy for yourself only, sir. right? If suppose there are six topics that you have made, or six modules, or six units, whatever you call it, make one CO for them. CO1, CO2, CO2. And it should be manageable, so don't go more than 6. 
Otherwise, it doesn't become manageable. And how get five or eight? Ah, five. Okay, five, five. Five or five. Ah, but sir, if you go for the NAC or something, na, then they will give objection on this because they have mentioned that six three credit course means six COs they want. In that case, you have to make additional CO, which is half a unit. Then we have to crack it here. Right? So that we can decide after that. So that's why it is mentioned here, CO five to six. Now let us take some cases here because uh, sir has told me to explain this to all of you. You can just see. Now let us say this is the course. Okay, this is your syllabus only. We downloaded from this. That is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five are there. But the credit is how many? Three credit. Okay. So you take a call and pass this in uh, your PAQIC. Departmental level. That means how many credits are required? Okay, the document is required for all of us, right? Okay. So in department meeting you pass this, but I suggest that don't don't fall below six. Around six doesn't mean five is okay, four is okay. No. Around six means six you should be there at least. In fact, you should go more than that. Around doesn't mean minus side only. No. Around means plus side also. Isn't it? So. Uh, sir, let us fix this way that NAC comes or MBA comes or whatever. There will be only one. Method, right? So many methods and you create a lot of problems. So make it six for three credit courses. Everything you can see, and divide the topic also to six. Now you can write module name or you don't write name. That is also okay. As rightly this is uh, this is very nice. Sir. Here you have mentioned only that number scheme and course here. That is bold. That is good. You can understand that. Or maybe you can do some model one, model two, model three. So our question paper is having uh, five questions. Main. Ah, ah. That you can make it six also. So you can make it six also. Then, ah, then, then it becomes question. very feasible. Then everywhere now, madam, it becomes a standardized. Like right? in NAC, in MBA, everything. Otherwise, in NAC, they will ask you question. Is saa ka kya? Mujh pura dabla pura dosa lagi. Right? For MBA also, it is written around six. Now also one six, so better do it as six. Is there any course which is having great as four? Yes. Tutorial. tutorial is there. Now for this tutorial, how many CVs are required? Then? You can see here five to six grades. Okay, four grades are there. So that is the same six grades you can make it here. Now see for four grades, how many CVs should be there? Ideally, eight. eight should be there. But now you are compromising to six. Okay, that is fine. Then two also grades you make it to six. Make it your thing six will become very simple. Is there any course which are having five grades? Five grades, my lord, is not happening. Is it in any system? Five grades is no way. In any of the academic system, also the five grades. The project is generation. Project dissertation. Project dissertation. Anyway, in project na sir, in MBA manual, there is no in pattern number two. They have asked how many POs are there from six to ten per project. Right, sir. लेबोरेटरी सर्टिफिकेट नंबर ऑफ सीओ लेबोरेटरी सर्टिफिकेट नहीं लेबोरेटरी सर्टिफिकेट दोनों क्रेड है बेस्ट ऑफ़ क्रेड्स यू शुड डू सर बेस्ट ऑफ़ क्रेड टू टू क्रेड ऐसे तक चार सीओ के बाद कमिंग कमिंग हाँ बट मेक इट एस स्टैंडर्ड प्रैक्टिस मुझे तो जगह तेरे गुरु लाओ सर मैं एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ � Somebody else is doing something, something with this. If not college wise, not possible, then at least make it department wise. College wise, some other other things. But you require some guidelines. That's why I showed you this. Nag guide, nag, nag. I don't know what they are doing. What are they doing? CEOs, number of CEOs, which budget they are doing, and that is very important. Okay? Yes. Now see how to make a credit. How to decide the credit? You can see they have given the guideline here. A credit system is a systematic way of describing an education program by attaching credits to its components. <coughs> University Grants Commission defines one credit as one daily period of one hour per week over a semester. This is one credit. How many credits are there? So you are having three subjects. Sorry, you are having three lectures per week, three credits. Four lectures per week. Four. Right? I am uh, sure that everybody knows this. One practical period of two hours per week over a semester. So that is 
one position. Right? Like this. So we can make it here functioning. That is very important. Now I would like to I would like to highlight one point to all of you. Curriculum design and development. You can just see now. Curriculum design and development. University has prescribed syllabus. You have mentioned as curriculum. Now do you tell me what is the difference between syllabus and curriculum? This is famous question in the education technology world. That what is the difference between syllabus and what is the difference between curriculum? Yes, syllabus. You can see. Curriculum design and development process of defining the contents of units of study and usually obtained through needs of assessment, feedback from stakeholders and expert groups. Okay, this is what is meant by curriculum. Right? Curriculum design and curriculum development are procedures which are closely linked to the description of learning outcomes. So you prescribe the syllabus based on the teacher's need, teacher centric, and the syllabus and the curriculum is always learner centric, learning outcomes. You need to achieve some learning outcomes out of that. That's the reason why you define curriculum. Am I right? So that's the reason why what we do? We train COs. For one, every unit we train COs basically. What is the learning outcomes of that particular unit? Okay? So that's why you can just see here and read this. This is given a standard uh, guidelines for all of us. So that we can follow it. Yes. Now, any other question? I hope this uh, breaking down into PIs is very clear, because that was the main objective of having this here. Then we have the thought process on this, right? And we have taken some things here. Okay. Any anybody has framed question on PI? Yes, madam. Now we will. Read some questions which are framed by all of you on PAs. Okay. Yes. CO2 is written on PIs. Ah, CO2 is written, huh? CO, CO2 means that unit number 2, madam. PI is 1.31. Ah, 1.31. 1. Means, one means PO1. CO2, PO1. CO2, PO1 and out of that PO1, again PI is 1.31. Right? If you want a 6 year accreditation, if you want a 6 year accreditation, we have to demonstrate that every student has reached to all PIs. Right? Every student has reached to all the PIs. That we have to demonstrate now. So they make a student wise assessment. Right now we are doing subject wise, but they want student wise, just like 4.2.1, in 4.2.1 it is given, that student wise, let me hear those and those. Yes. Sir. So mass at 12, now mass doesn't matter, I have, we have done one exercise, isn't it, in the afternoon, maximum marks, then 40% of that, how many students are more than that, and then we can do that, yeah. Yes, sir. First question is uh, how HVDC interconnection are technically superior to HVDC, HVAC interconnection. Right. Uh, so this is uh, CO 1.3, PO 1. Uh, Somebody one, PO 8, I want PO 6, PO 7, PO 8, PO 9, PO 10. Right? Because everybody knows 1 to 4 is okay. Everybody can do it. But are you going to do enough for PO number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? That is most important. 11 and 12. Yeah. Right? For 11, ah, yes, discuss the technical and economic advantages of HVDC transmission yes. over HVAC. Right. And your question should not be understood by me. Then it is a very good question. <laughs> right. If you frame, because See, it is written, definition of CO in that NBA manual, narrow statement. A very narrow statement is there, right? Not a broad statement. Narrow statement means only that faculty member and those concerned students should only understand. Otherwise, all the, everybody should understand that it person becomes specific. Right? Therefore, they will discuss advantages of HVDC right. from environment concerns. Yes, very nice. Thank you, man. Now you pass it to the second one. Yes. 
Do it fast. If you if you want, I should go faster. Then you please do it fast. Any question? Yes, ma'am. Huh? No, you have to kill the machine. Huh? Any question? That you have? Yes, all of you now. Please make your your questions ready. Okay, do it fast. Only one question, and I would like to uh, get it from P O five to onwards. P O five to P O ten, P O eleven, P O twelve. Any question of your post, please? Uh, how to validate the software develop, and how to uh, which will be the uh, best uh, testing tool right. to validate that software? Right. Yes. Next. Demonstrate uh, for the given scenario, uh, which of the two uh, we have to compare to the algorithm and demonstrate which one algorithm is better and why it is better for okay. the given scenario. Yes. And which is a given scenario? Okay. Acha. Okay. Now, what is what you thought of? I'm just asking you. What you thought of that scenario? Very nice. Perfect. In fact, scenario based questions are most important. Right now, I show you an open book test. In in manual, it is written. Open book test means real life example. So, any any scenario. Computer engineering is very simple. You read AICT Smart India Hackathon. They have given so many questions. 365, 366 questions are there. Smart Hackathon questions, right? And these Smart Hackathon questions they cover entire syllabus of computer engineering. Entire syllabus of IT engineering. Very simple. Sir. Higher order thinking skills. Everything gets achieved there. Very simple. And in fact, that will be given a very nice uh, example here, right? Now, one such algorithm they have mentioned is what is the cyber security, cyber security cell, uh, cyber security cell detection of the of the firewall breach. Something I know, just read today in the morning only. So that we can give such a scenario here, okay? Or otherwise, the queuing system, the queue should not break, right? Then there are many things. So data structure. In that they say how you maintain the queue and how the queue should not be bro uh, broken. Queue discipline is there. Something like this. Okay. Can you just share? My outside. Next. Next. Sir, I am sir. Are you sir? My mother passed for another skill. Ha, take it, sir. Take it, sir. I am pushing that. सर अरे जाना दे पास ठीक है ना सर ओके नो इट वाज एक क्वेश्चन ऑन रिगार्डिंग डिस्क्राइब द एएससी कोर्स फॉर आइडेंटिफाइंग डिजास्टर्स इन डिफरेंट ज्योग्राफिकल जोन्स विद स्पेसिफिक रेफरेंस टू इंडिया राइट परफेक्ट सर परफेक्ट यस पीआई लेवल 3.1.4 क्वालिटी लेवल 3 हां हां ओके राइट नाउ But the placement opportunity should be mentioned somewhere, right? Ha. Then it is perfect. Then the students will also do. Our attendance will be also done. So many things. Yes. Next. Patima. Are Patima? Patima. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Next. See, don't feel as a burden. Right, I am giving mic doesn't mean that you should take a burden on that or stress level or something. Just mention me in the your own language, sir, your own sentence. That's all. Right? Picture is related to detail subject. That is how the wait, 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 wait. date lock is. One second, one second, one second. Uh, how the date lock is occur and what are the processes to avoid the date lock? Acha, date lock. Which subject? DBMS, database management. And what is the use of this, sir? You are absolutely right. There is a company called as Oracle, right? Now, and Oracle is a very great recruiter amongst the students. I, I, in fact, request to all of you that please have a list of the companies where the students wants to go. Right? That will be the best choice. Let the student tell you that this is my dream company, four five. 
district. Then as per that, we prepare the students, we prepare the PIs, we prepare the POs. That will be the greatest advantage. Sir, yes, please. The question is related to data, data structure subject. Okay. Write the routine or the procedure uh -huh. to insert an element in the queue. Okay. And find out the or give the condition okay. when that queue is empty. Okay. Perfect. It is about to write the procedure yes. directly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And where it is useful? Uh, sir, data sir, for the gain examinations or the uh -huh. very poor companies. Okay. Development companies ask most of the questions on the data sector. Right. But if you can name it, then the students will appreciate more. Right? So please search on that. You can just name it, reframe the question that is done. But right now it is institution started, that is very good actually. This is what I want. Currently persistent, ah, yes, Infosys, yes, IBM, yes, perfect. Samsung itself, in perfect. the development, they, most of the companies are asking questions only on the data. Right, sir. Absolutely. Yes, NVIDIA. Somebody said. NVIDIA is in fact a very high package job. And and the most important of NVIDIA, NVIDIA is they are not having any criteria. NVIDIA, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. And let me tell you, sir, you mentioned that persistent and all the things. I don't want to, of course, their comment is not very good. But then they don't turn that offer into <laughs> offer into the actual joining. There is a lot of difference between that also nowadays. Right. And many Many companies, what they are doing, they are hiring some other persons to find out the social profiles of our students. Facebook and LinkedIn, I look at the Are they very aggressive? And if they are very aggressive, they normally they are not getting the uh, they are not getting the opportunities. We can write, we can ask the student also to find out how is the social profile analysis of the other friends, right? So that we can make it here as a ethics. Question number 8.1.1. 8.1.1, the PI is given. The first one is there. Yes, sir. Differentiate between microgrid and nanogrid. Okay. Microgrid and nanogrid. Next. And the recruiter is MSCB. So the power sectors are power sectors. Yes. Right. Ah, next. Uh -huh. If you want to do the compression, what is the value? 